Hey all, J-Man here. I just wanted to tell you about BeardedShirts.com. It's a great place to get a lot of cool superhero shirts and other merchandise. You can scroll. They've always got sales on. As you can see, they've got these really cool print all over shirts, which I really love. That's Eddie, the founder of the site. And if you're looking for stuff, all you got to do is you click on the search here. And you can type in all over. And that's going to show you the all over prints, which are really, really cool. Look at that. You got Legion of Superheroes. You got Brave and the Bold. You got JSA. You got Superman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, all kinds of stuff. So check out BeardedShirts.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the final episode a Fearless Fridays, Frank Miller's Run on Daredevil, episode 13, The Man Without Fear. How do you stop a man without fear? You by putting the fear in him. Remember that cheesy line from the Van Affleck show? Uh, the Man Without Fear, uh, I guess, inspiration for the black costume. A few things uh, happen from this that you can see in the, um, the Netflix TV series. The Netflix TV series, which borrowed uh <laughs> stole uh everything uh from frank miller we've been going through all these there is a playlist now for all 13 of these if you missed any you can go back and check them out uh so this monday we're going to be doing the next batch of uh legion uh reviews i don't think i have the icon yet let me see if i have the icon no oh do i have the icon let's see so legion live stream is going to be on monday this is the one we're doing on Monday. I actually like if it, now I know we're only going to talk about the Legion stories, but Superman being an old man in these action comics was pretty awesome. I'm thinking I have to buy these. I was going to buy them anyways because the Legion appearance, but they're actually pretty cool. I actually like him being an old man in the future here. It's pretty neat. So that's on Monday. And then next Friday, one week from today, fantastic Fridays. So this is the big one. This is going to be a long haul. We're going to go through all of jack kirby's fantastic four this is marvel comics um you you guys cannot miss these like i mean i can't even th there's not even going to be one friday that's not going to have something awesome it's it's that it's going to be that insane um i know there's you know like basically for frank miller there wasn't really any duds either but this is insane this is the birth of marvel and like all this cool stuff that we that we that we love now we know fantastic four is going to be ruined when marvel or disney finally does it um, so we're going to honor the real fantastic four by doing it with the real creator. So make sure you're there for Fridays on that one. Um, all right, let's say a thank you to the Legionnaires. These are the channel members. So we've got Dan, Sean, Steven, and Clobby, who, you know, Brennan, who you've seen a few times, Cliff, who joins me on the Dazzler stream, RR, who's already in the chat and Philip story. Who's our newest member. RR, your shirt is in queue. Uh, <clears throat> Eddie has told me that it's in queue. It's good. It's good. It takes about one month for the process of it because they actually don't just have the shirts. They actually make them custom on demand and uh, they actually do the printing process first. Then they send it somewhere to actually be stitched up and like formed into a shirt. And then you are, uh, you know, a bit further away. So it might take a while to ship. So hopefully four to six weeks is what we're kind of hoping. So let me know when you get it. Okay. Just so I know. Um, all right. That's that. Let's get on to business here. Let's 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 TCB take care of business. I'll bring in our first uh, legionnaire. Hey, Adio. Yeah. I I really like that shirt. I might have to get that one for me. Yeah, uh, it's cool. Yeah. It's it, the red, super red. Like this, mm -hmm. the, the screen doesn't do its service. Like if you, if you see it in person, it's pretty cool. Streamyard shows all red as orange. I was wearing my other shirt, and everyone thought it was. I was wearing my uh, Cyclops is right or whatever. It was red, and everyone thought it was yeah. orange. I'm like no, it's 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 it's, it's not. Um, so yeah, all right. Let's bring in our our uh, special guest uh, reviewer. It's clobbering time. Hello. Oh, who's special? <laughs> not me. What's up, buddies? Hey, good to see. You. It's a uh, DD in time. DD in time. We have reached the light of the end of the tunnel. Hey, FK and R was here again. I did post a poll so you can rate the comic. Speaking of Eddie, I got two new gifts from him today. Oh, nice. Oh man. Oh man. Got some shirts. 
Oh, what? yes. I sure did. Uh, he yeah. He's sending me a hoodie. Um, so they, they've started doing hoodies. So he's sending me a hoodie of um, of the Superboy cover, the, the one I like with the Superboy flying flying up or whatever. I don't I don't even know what comic that was from. Is it, is it from a Legion comic? Which one? Is the, the Superboy flying up, the one that like is like my favorite shirt. Um, I don't I don't know what cover it's oh, from. Oh, flying up, um, like the blue one. Yeah, it's I all blue background too. and the sky. And the Legion is Legion all kind of. Bottom. That's two eighty. Legion two eighty, I think. George Perez. He um uh, made me uh the you know the cover of the one of my all time greatest the one of, uh, probably my favorite single the one where they're all the the, the electrodes no, the, no he made me um Fantastic Four number fifty one which is probably it's the one comic when I had to sell my my uh, collection of FFs back in the nineties unfortunately mm -hmm. I kept it because that's one I had Jack signed it's my favorite all time um, comic book that ever published probably this man this monster and he made me. Not only a shirt of the cover, but of the splash page where I got Jack signed, of course. Wow. He even removed something that I didn't want on there. <gasps> he did it. He removed it. Yes. Uh, the man is a, is a god, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so ha I'm he so happy. He even replaced my, my tote bag thingy. Oh, awesome. My even I know that makes me a woman to have one, but I had to order it anyway. It <laughs> That's okay. The, the cover of Justice League number 200. It's a man. Oh, it's a. It's a. It's a man purse. It's a man. The man purse. purse. Immerse, yeah. I don't even know what I'll ever use it for. But a purse. What did you say? A <laughs> purse. No, I told you. You accidentally sent me a bouncing boy one for some reason. Yes. I, oh, yes, yes, yes. So you got the proper one now. Now I got Justice in two hundred. George Perez, right. you can call me anything you want. I haven't like. R R. Thank you for the super chat, man. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter to everybody. Happy Easter. Um, hey. 103 Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Three observations. One, many similarities to Batman Year One. Okay, yep. Even some panels, but grittier. Yes. Uh, one of three. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna do all yeah, your I observations. I didn't see too many similarities to that, to be honest, but that's beside the point. Thing. Well, we're gonna go through it and we, we can we can point them out as we go. Um, I do want to mention this. I was talking to the boys backstage. I don't know if there's anyone. I'm gonna review Fist of the North Star Volume One. I'm not yeah. sure if there's any manga readers out here or if you're watching this later on. Um, this is like spoilers is 10 out of 10 i already got volume two so i'm going to start reviewing these um we'll see how it goes i my star trek reviews are doing very well i wasn't sure how are that was going to play out well that's good and and i've been adding shatner come on shatner just tweet one of them out buddy help me out tweet one out it's yeah like, he should I'll, I'll talk to him talk can you talk to him you know we have we get you know i put a word in for you put a word in put a word yeah. in for me i well, need shatner to help me out um so yes you sold your soul club oh no what happened i don't know what did you sell your soul not that i had one but not to my knowledge but i guess he would know i don't know what i do now isn't it terrible you don't know what you did i'll buy that for a dollar i buy that for a dollar can we call you ray how do you like that oh you can't say it like that because it's it's underneath the thingy i uh I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I, I don't understand it, but I can. I'm, you know, Roy or Ray? He means Ray as in, as in uh, Roy Thomas, or is it Ray? I can't. Is that a Ray? It's Ray. Couldn't see it from the thing. But it's the North. So I don't know what I did, but okay. No, it's not that kind of fist. Tr trust me, you definitely don't want that. If he hits you, explode. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I did. Uh, I did post my review for uh godzilla sean oh. are you going to see godzilla you're, you're going right eventually but like probably not this week so you, you, i gotta you wait till to, sunday <laughs> you have you like oh no you, I, I saw your review and i was surprised because like nothing suggested this no 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 no, no, no all no. about the monsters and stuff like like all of us were high-fiving the crap out of each other after this thing. i've never seen Every, I've never seen everyone in the theater die at the same time together. Like everyone came out, we're like, "This is in. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Yeah. The ratio. So, so Klobby. Mm. So the amount of times you see Shin Godzilla is the amount of times you see the humans. It's there's literally like almost 15 minutes where King Kong is walking around doing stuff without anybody there. He's with the little guy. He goes, these. There's like these apes that are being like. Like, uh, like, forced to labor, and he like rescues them. And it's like, this, and it's like he's fighting this guy. Like, what the heck? It's like these, there's like sub stories with just King Kong walking around doing stuff. It's crazy. I'm all over that. <laughs> Miller I'll must have. 
and boy as a child because major yeah we're gonna talk about this you know i'm uh oh i'm I like, I do like this, but I, I, the problem is, is that, you know what? We did Born Again. I wish if I was to do it again, I would have done this and then Born Again. Well, we did them um, in order. This was later. This was yeah. later. We did them in order. I would have broken the order because Born Again was just so bloody awesome. And this was just kind of like, there's a few mm. things I didn't like in this. There's too much I didn't like, to be honest. Well, yeah, it's, it's edge lordy, which was the kind of it, thing that people were doing back then. Retconny too. You're right. Yeah. Like, it, it's like 90s. why is it been so blasted, mean spirited? This wasn't a comic, like this, and he totally screwed around the origin to the point that he he re, he, re, he changed crap. Yeah, yeah. It pissed me off. This comic actually pissed me off back then, and I hadn't read it since then. Now it pissed me off again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pissed off again, like born again, pissed off again. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but our, our yeah, so we're gonna we're, we're definitely he definitely was bullied or something because there's a lot. It's not just it's not very subtle. No, <laughs> it's, no. it's, like, it's like it's like right in there. Uh, classic. Agreed. What's going on, brother? Nineties, maybe eighties. Yeah. Oh, the, the anime is like kids stuff. This is like insane. Like the guy's rib cage is like broken open, and it's like come, stuff comes out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like you have to see this Godzilla. We, we, like at the end when it was over, the theater was full. And I and I yell and I I always yell something out at the end just to be funny. I was like, I wish there was more monster action in this. I don't think and and for that at least our clump. We're like, what the hell? Who's this guy? We're like, I'm like, I, I'm sorry, laughing. Everyone's like, oh my god, is this guy insane? Did he did he not think there was enough? Like, uh, one one of our fellows who hates every like he, me and him never agree, and he always likes crappy movies. Yeah. And he's like, this is cr like he's like my hair is standing up. He's he's like I he goes I've never had my hair like he's like I, I'm like, wow. There is so much destruction. <laughs> it's like they fight, dude. There's a there's a fight with four monsters in zero gravity. Like yeah. they're in between oh, yeah, in they're... zero gravity <laughs> while things are floating around throwing shit at them. Then they go up and fight more. And you're like, like there's this fight. You're like, wow, that was a crazy fight. You're like, okay, okay, that was pretty good. And then it's like, oh no, that was part one of the fight. Then they go up and continue. And I'm like, it's continuing. Like you thought the fight was over. And it's like, no, there's just more of a fight. And then special appearance monster too. I was like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a special appearance monster that so far maybe Sean read the spoilers, but I, I, know, I haven't read anything about it. I know it is. Special appearance I know it is. If you know me, you'll know who it is. But oh, I'm gonna yeah, I know who it is. <laughs> no, don't spoil it. What a bastard! Look at this guy. Spoil it. Told me, but I'm not gonna spoil it. All right. Um, okay, so let's see. Three or three. So much. Thank you. Thank you again. Our um, so much of straight written by folks. Oh, Miller should have had me out. Miller should have got. Uh, have oh yeah. Right in credit. Hundred percent. Frank Miller's Daredevil. Yeah, Frank Miller's Daredevil, big time. Um, yeah, it is actually Yo. a bit scary that they didn't mention him at all in this. It, it, that's really it's scary. It's you wrong. Know why? I think I know why, but I'm not gonna go into it. Oh, well, it is Frank Miller's Daredevil. I mean, I don't know what well, to tell you. Um, not even an acknowledgement that I ever saw. Was it in maybe, the credits maybe, or anything? Not in the opening credits, and I never really used to check the end. I don't think so, though. Right. They may have been some acknowledged in the end credits. I don't remember because I was trying to look. Um, I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, that's, I mean that's crazy, really. Um, but yeah, so Born Again, I would probably give it um, three point five, maybe or maybe a three. I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it again. The thing is, there's a few things that really piss me off, and then some stuff that I thought was cool, but like. Um, I don't know. Right away, as soon as the the father's like hitting him and all this, I'm like, ah, I'm like, yeah. I don't like any of this at all. Um, it's like, like you know, hashtag not not my jack or whatever. causing the death of a woman. Yeah, I didn't like that either. That was brutal. Um, all right, well, let's do the credits here, Clobby. Let's do officially the credits. Okay. And... Um, Daredevil, the man without fear, number one. Um, cover by Arch, cover by um, John Romita Jr. and Al Williamson, release date August 1993. Um, writer Frank Miller, penciler John Romita Jr., inker the great Al Williamson, colorist Christy Shield, letterer Joe Rosen, editor Arigarahe, who I don't know who he is. I will say that 
right off the bat, I'm not the biggest JR JR fan. A lot of people, some people like him, some don't. He's a, kind of a lightning rod that way. I'm the huge Al Williamson fan toward the end of his career. Because yeah, he's one of the greatest comic artists, uh, one of the great comic artists, but he made kind of a, you know, because he was a lot older, he made it kind of made his career in as, as an anchor. Anchoring Kurt Swan a lot, or even a few other people, Marvel and DC. And I think he does a pretty good job making this and making it at least bearable because, man, if anybody else had inked this one, it's still rough. I do like this. Um, I do like this cover, though. I think it's kind of neat. Um, it's like, it's like, oh, my dad. Yeah, some of the art's not that bad. I mean, it's, uh, I will say this also because Miller is so good at layout and stuff, Miller still directs it. Like, a, he's almost like a director when he does a comic that he doesn't draw. The layouts and everything are still to Miller's specific specifications. And it's still, this one is unlike any John Romita Jr. layout book you ever see because he does the, even while he does the art, it's laid out like a Frank Miller comic. Right. Yeah. And there's a lot of, and he made sure he brought in a guy like Williamson because it has, Really good backgrounds and details, which uh, just as Klaus Jansen, when he was working with Miller, and just as when De when Mazzucchelli did his own backgrounds for Born Again. So Miller always manages to bring in someone to I – mean, he doesn't half-ass it with the art, even when he doesn't do the, the art right. himself. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I, I will – this happens. Godzilla superplex uh, – wrestling moves. Literally, he picks them up. Poof, you're like, are you – like – like, are you kidding me? It's, it's insane. Um, <laughs> Sean, I would have given anything for you to have been there. We, like, the guy's wearing an Exterminator 2 t-shirt. You saw that. Yeah, you said, yeah you said that, yeah. We're like, the guy's wearing an Exterminator 2 t-shirt. I can't believe <laughs> this is happening. Um, they, they got my letter. I said, I need, to, I need an Exterminator 2 t-shirt in the next Godzilla movie. They got my letter. I didn't think you didn't they even got know. it. Did you? <laughs> I did not know. No, I, I, I'm yelling in the field. Like, Exterminator 2 t-shirt. And Owen's like, Exterminator 2 t-shirt. We weren't sitting next to each other. Like, oh my God, there's Exterminator 2. They got enough of tea public, dude. Yeah, they did. But I mean, we're also going to get it. <laughs> I got this from tea public. <laughs> this is before bearded shirts. BBS. Yeah. No, before I have bearded shirts. Public. I used to get Zazzle a lot. And then now I got some tea public. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's Matt being a little like punk kid like i don't you know steals the guy's uh uh whatever yeah, his baton his, his baton or thingy nightstick. Uh, nightstick nightstick that's the word jeez um he jumps on the skateboard takes off he's wearing the black the black costume <laughs> he's wearing the black mask here mm -hmm. runs off runs into here hides the the thing there's the dad uh upset over maggie here's the poster I mean, we've seen we've seen this so many times. Um, like we've seen this origin kind of retooled, retold, you know, fixed up a bit, added on, subtracted from, you know, blah blah blah. Um, so it, this is just again like this issue is pretty. There's nothing really much to talk about. Like he's all beat up. It's like, all right, Frank, you know, you gotta you gotta be the fixer, and you gotta you gotta work for the fixer, and you gotta like you know collect stuff and collect debts and everything. It's like, all right. The winner of the boxing match. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Yeah, Mike Tyson's punch out. So it's like he's now now he's wearing this mask here, which is what Maddie was uh, wearing earlier. Um, he's collecting his money. It's like, Maddie, I need you to be, you know, be a good boy and all that. It's like, all right, Dad. This aggravated the crap out of me. This was not in the original issue. Uh, in the original, like you mean, when the original origin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake Paul, yeah, I know. Ja yeah, Jake Paul's gonna, is he fight? Is he actually gonna? Is that actually gonna happen? Is he actually gonna fight Mike Tyson? That's weird. Um, I thought it was Conor McGregor. No, I think he's. I thought he was fighting Mike Tyson. I, I don't know. I'm. I. I don't. I don't Is know. McGregor I, fighting um, Mike Tyson. I thought it was Jake Paul for some reason. No, oh, maybe. Well. Okay, so Matt promises I'll be a good boy. And so now here we go. So like we're on page whatever page where I'm like, yeah. They, now they already had they already did show this before, but this really just like irked me. I'm like, really, why is this happening? I think if Jack hit his son being that. a boxer, like he would have knocked his head off, right? Like, yeah. I mean, this is just really like, what is the point of this? Like, I don't. And now he thinks about. 
So, so getting punched in the face by your father makes you become a lawyer. Is that what they're saying? I, I don't like what else yeah. is there? I, I guess that's the, what they're saying. He was going for the abuse thing. And yeah, um, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Matt, Matt Murdoch, even in the TV show, they didn't do that. No, I, I think they knew that wouldn't work. No, yeah, even in the TV show, to their credit, they didn't have, not only did they not have him hitting Matt, they didn't have him as a criminal working for a uh, working. I mean, he was, they did have him throwing fights, but they didn't have him uh, being a uh, Rocky. Remember, Rocky was Rocky yeah. was working as an enforcer at the beginning of Rocky. Yeah. He watched yeah. Rocky and did that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't like. I don't. I don't like it at that all. Crap is really. not in the original, the first issue. Yeah, yeah. I don't well, like any of it. Yeah, like I'm like, okay, this is cool. This is cool. And then as soon as he punched him, I'm like, well, that's it. Like, I what is happening here? Um. So, anyways, and then I and I don't like this. Oh, daredevil, daredevil. Like that's just a. Yeah, but that um, there was some of that in the original. Yeah, but I don't. I does. Yeah, I, I don't like it anyways. It's like, but whatever. They call him daredevil. That's fine. But like, okay, so they're bullying him. And then there's stick. So now we've inserted stick to say like, oh yes, I've. He was, you know, always, there. He was always there. He was always there. I know that. I see that now. Mm-hmm. And then the guy, the guy's crossing the street here and saves him. And then the the the, you know, the blindness. And then here we go. So now, I mean, we've like seen this a million times. It's like, no ninja turtles. No ninja turtles. They they were there, Sean. They're hold on. They're yeah. right there. Let's see. <laughs> they're around. Where are they? Hold on. Where's the ninja turtles? Right, right there. There's one of the turtles right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's like I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm not saying like ash at it. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's got the uh, uh, he's got the thingies on, hanging off the edge here. So the, the, the senses are, are, are um, oh no, they're stick seeing him. So it's like, yes, they're stick. There's Scott Glenn. Scott Glenn. Mm-hmm. I think they got paid uh, by the line. It's like, how many lines did you do on this one? It's like, <laughs> I did a whole line. So to speak. I did a whole, whole bunch of lines here. So it's paid, paid by line. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's a, it is a weird style. John Romita Jr. does that, but Al Williamson tried to clean it up. Yeah. Not a big, I don't know, JR, JR. We started with that, getting that style weird. He was not as pappy. I'm sorry. That's right. The Ninja Turtles are ninja. You don't see them. Yeah. Right, so he's working out here. It's like, who are you? Oh, he calls himself Stick. It's like, you. I need you to clean all this up, and then I need you to wax my car. Okay, come back. Wax on, wax off. Yeah. yeah with the, Wax on this hand, wax off this hand. He's the a-hole Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, he is the a <laughs> Boof, puff, smack, clunk, kunk, talk, tick tock. No. How did you do that? Well, you, firstly, he could be lying. I'd be like, "Are you sure you're blind?" Because you, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I've got. So how how do each of them know if they're even hitting the target? It's like. <laughs> the question. Uh, it's like like this. Maybe he can hear the target or something. I don't know. I don't know. It makes you wonder. Oh, and, and then the, the arrow goes through this window and and kills someone across the street. That someone becomes a super criminal. And then uh, and then whatever. Maybe it was Bullseye. Maybe it hit Bullseye's father or something. And then Bullseye saw his dad died and thought, no. no, and now I will become Bullseye. I will become a sharpshooter and kill everyone. Uh, <laughs> um, only, so in you, you- only in comics. Only in comics. Again. Stuff is when you're blind. Again, again. I go. I did it. I did it. Yeah, we'll do it again. You piece of trash. I like that. Anybody do it once? Punk. I don't do it once. Punk. Like he was calling him. He was calling him punk in the end. Yeah. He's almost. Yeah, sticks almost like a villain. All of a sudden, he's become like this villain. Are you okay? So then um, they're jumping around the rooftops, running around. This is cool. Yeah. I like this. It's like this jump. So some of this is cool. It's like jumping. This is nice. 
And then, and then Rocky, here's the Rocky uh, reference. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't want to throw the fight. Well, you have to. But my boy's in the audience and listening on to his radio with the fight. So I they had win. it playing in the movie. I mean, not the movie, sorry, the TV show. It's kind of weird. It really didn't, you know, I don't know. Wasn't like this dude. I mean, he looks like an older like bigger, like Matt Murdock does when he gets older, so he's bigger. Punch here in the face. Nine, ten, he's out. Batlin Murdock wins. Uh oh, these mustachio guys, like, they're not happy. Exit, and they beat him up. And they shoot him. Is that this? This is a really bad panel. I can't. My I eyes. What the hell? That is. Uh, yeah, my eyes can't make it out. <laughs> His mouth. This is like those three D pictures where you have to cross your eyes and then it makes like a three D. Yeah. You, you ever seen those? It's all like. On that one. It's like and I'm good at those. Mm-hmm. Like a, a race. Like, what is happening here? This is this is awful. Like, it is. I, I don't know. Like it was yeah. fine a minute ago, right? Like, and then like, yeah, what the it hell? Makes happened? no sense. Yeah, this is. Bad. John Robbie Oh, is that the end of the issue? Oh, yeah, yeah oh, these, things, these things go by quick. Oh, that was it. Wow. All right. The man without the fear. It's all the same people for all of it, right? We don't need to. Uh, yeah. Oh. Number issue number two was released in. Uh, or was released in September of of twenty eighth of nineteen ninety three, and and uh, the cover. Again, John Romita Jr., Al Williamson. Uh, uh, Story Miller, Art Romita Jr., Eakers, Williamson, Steele, and Rosen on the colors and letters. And Ralph Macchio, interesting, yeah. And Pat Greg, interesting as Ralph Macchio, but he's the Karate mm-hmm. Kid. Karate Kid with Miyagi. All right, let's bring out the thing here. Is that him, kid? Well, yeah, I can't see a dumbass. It is a, yeah, it says, let it be, touch him. How's touching him is going to. Touch his face, I guess. I, I don't know. Are you fu- so are you using? Oh, intro. Okay. Mm. Since you're talking about Pat Morita and Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi. I'm missing not Miyagi. Mm-hmm. All right, now they're drinking. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, give me some of that. It's like, who's dumb enough to try to attack us here? And they got beat up. It was Jack Murdoch. It was Murdoch. Like, why would they think that? That's random. I don't know. Here's the hairiest man alive. It's like <laughs> super hair. <laughs> we have the biggest. This is freaking the rodent from uh, Dick Tracy. <laughs> 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 Hairball and rodent or something. <laughs> Make up some Dick Tracy, like Dick, Dick Tracy guys or whatever. <laughs> what? What happened? Oh, he's all bloody up. <laughs> Baseball bat. But it's Batman. I don't need that. <laughs> Batman. Yeah, it's Batman. Batman. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what I just got? Oh, d- did you guys get the Batwoman? The the the. Uh, so I got Batwoman, Panther Woman, and uh, a Santo movie that I already had, but it's a nice addition. It's a little bit better with extra features. So I picked up all. I need three to get of those. that. I have Batwoman digital, but I'll get the. Uh, it's, okay, is that the one that you loaned me? Yeah. Uh, it, that that uh, Sean, I'm sorry, but I'm not impressed with the quality of that. Lo- 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 so I know you loaned it to me. Better, or is it? Because usually they just take the same uh, thing and make a Blu-ray. N- no, it's like four thousand. No, no, no. You loaned what you loaned me. Yeah, it was offensive. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 I, I, it's offensive quality. Like I, I couldn't. I put. I wow. watched about ten minutes. I thought I'm so offended by the quality of this, and I'm very <laughs> upset at Sean for sending this quality to me. So I cannot, I can no longer view this. And then I stopped immediately because it was terrible. And now I've got the nice blue. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> like you need that. You Bad need, a, and this is Batwoman, the the real Batwoman, not the Batwoman, Batwoman. TV show. The, 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 the luchador Batwoman. Yeah. Oh <laughs> well, she's God. not a luchador, I guess, really, though. She's not really a luchador. Well, she's a wrestler in Mexico. And you know, she is a luchador. Yeah, she's and she a has a mask. So, no, no, she's yeah. a luchador. You're, yeah, no, no, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Is, she, is she hot? Uh, yeah. Yes. And okay. like, there's like Good. zero costume, like oh, even it, 
No, it, Claudia, I'll show it to you after. It's 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 pretty it's pretty insane. My wife's like, is this her liter? It's like, is this the costume? But I was like, yeah, that's the whole movie. She's in this the whole. Movie. Perfect. Yeah, when she's wrestling, she's in a Batman outfit. But when she's yeah. a superhero, she's just in a bikini, like a blue bikini. It's just a blue bikini with Batman, Batman's cowl. That's it. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. <laughs> it's really outrageous. From the and 70s awesome. or from the 70s or what? 70s, 70s yeah. Yeah, nice. I, I, like, yeah. Well, I mean, Panther, Panther Woman's awesome. Movie, I, I think. So. I mean, not the movie, the show. The so. decade for the costume, the ladies' yeah. costume. Yeah. Uh, so here's, here's, here's Hairball. Oh, man. Guy, that, yo, that's brutal. <laughs> Um, now, now, what do you guys think about, like, I mean, I'm not even sure if I really agree with Matt doing this, to be honest, I'm a bit torn on this. I mean, I understand he's a kid and he wants to hurt these guys, but like, I don't know. What do you think about it? Go ahead, John. Sean. No, I was, I was going to say, uh, this whole thing just seemed like, so this is the nineties, right? Yes. Yeah. So, like yeah. 90s comics. It, it's like over uh, like too many lines, as you said before. And, like, just mean-spiritedness for mean-spiritedness sake, like, just for the shock of it, that's what it seemed like to me. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't mean to, like, you know, come down on a master, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's not, in, it's not in, in step with the character. It's not really even in step with Miller's uh, take on Daredevil's fact. Because, you know, in Born Again, he had the stage where he went kind of nuts. And that was one thing. But remember when the end, when he redeems and comes back to his old Matt Murdock self, Matt Murdock was not vicious when he was mm. in his right mind. Yeah. Um, because, you know, he, uh, he got, he had times when he got a little out of control. Like, you know, look, he dropped Bullseye. He had, right. It was this, though, and this, these guys killed his parents. He, you know, him kicking their ass is one thing. But I, yeah, I think it was a little bit much. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Miller was obsessed with that kind of crap. Mill, Mill, see, at that point, that was when this is before Alan Moore went completely tonto, as mm -hmm. they say, as the mm -hmm. British say. And so he was actually, and around this point, he was apologizing for Watchmen and some other stuff that, that had driven the dark stuff too far. But right. Miller, Miller never apologized for it. He was never. Like, like him, he was doing Sin City, as a classic comic says. He was the darker, the more gritty, the more violent, the better. Well, I, so I mean, obviously, you, you know me and my taste. I, 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 I love all. I love the violent stuff and the dark stuff. Oh, if yeah, it's yeah. meant, if it's meant, like I actually am not a big fan of Sin City, the comic. I did like the movies, but I'm yeah. not against that. But that's Sin Same. City. That's Marv and these guys. Not sure. Daredevil doing not Daredevil. that, right? Like again, I just showed Fist of the North Star, right? So this is super violence. But this is the fist of the North Star. This is not Batman. Exactly. I don't want it. In, I don't want it in Batman. Daredevil That's why I like different good. comics. <laughs> exactly. Dare, you don't. I don't want it in Daredevil either. Again, even with because we all we just got the reviewing all of his uh, run, and we like the Daredevil, the Miller's take on the character, and he made you know, and it was darker than the the stuff before it, but it wasn't across a bad line or anything. Right. This, yeah, this one, is him like kicking the crap out of the sky, like. Yeah, I mean, he's young and angry. I guess if you want to kind of go with it from that standpoint, maybe. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not – I don't like this whole series, to be honest with you. I voted your two out of five when you in the, your poll in there, to be honest. Oh, wow. Not, I mean, it's got retcon bullshit all through it that doesn't – that that absolutely uh, contradicts the origin, which I don't care for. Mm hmm um, you can bend things, a few things, like if you know, and add things here and there, like Miller did. But he's absolutely contradicting things about Daredevil's origin, and I don't like it. All right. Uh, I'm going to show you the Batwoman thing. Um, so if anybody orders this, you're welcome. You're you're welcome for me introducing this for you. If you haven't seen it, I will. I'm I, I'm going to take thanks in advance. I want everyone to thank me in advance. Uh, and you're you're very welcome. I do like sharing these with you. So here's one here's one image. This is the costume, the whole movie. This is the whole uh, movie. Yes. <laughs> now, nice. why didn't it? Why wasn't that the Batwoman we saw on TV? That, that would have been something. 
That would, that would have done way better. There'd be season 500 of that. Man, I got that season 500. This is getting real good now. It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like you know, what's the storyline? Um, There's a villain or something. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's a villain, I think. It's like, no, there wasn't even a villain. In there. Oh, man. Yeah, it's it's really outrage. It's it it's good. it's like it's outrageous. It's awesome. Um, nice. So you're welcome, everybody. You're welcome in advance for ordering. <laughs> so RR, yeah. I yeah, I agree with RR on this, uh, in the sense that Miller was into that sort of thing, and he probably was bullied. Yes, he probably was. Yes. Yeah. I can't say that I've read anything where he wa um, was, but I think it's a good chance. Could be. Okay, so uh, Matt, yeah, he's getting his revenge here on these guys. Uh, and then there's that guy with the gun. He drops the gun. He just has a heart attack, right? Wow, gave him a heart attack. That was like in Child's. That was in one of the Child's Play movies where Chucky scared that person. He got a heart attack. He's like, really? And he's like, you got to be effing kidding me. <laughs> he's like, all right. <laughs> and he just like, dies of a heart attack. And Chucky's upset because he wanted to kill him, but he didn't get a chance to. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Ch Child's Play is great. Um, all right, so they're like, okay, there's, there's, there's the one guy left, and then he jumps in and grabs him. Look what at this stash, man. Mask. You can hang like your coat on this. It's like the, come, the guy comes this in, hangs scene, his coat. What are you doing? This scene sucks too. I hate it. Okay, so, I, okay, so basically, if I'm going through my emotions reading this, I haven't read this one, I had read a long time ago, um, but I never read it since I'd read it a long time ago, and actually, Same I found out. I don't own, I actually don't own this. Um, and I'm I got the reading it. I remember great. why. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Look, I bought them in 93 and they came out each and we got the floppies. I never bothered with the trade or anything. Yeah. So I, 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 when did this, what was the year on this one? Again? 93. 93. So no, 93, dude. You, well, Clobby and I would not have been friends. I was image, image like, uh, like, like, heavy ass head and then if i was gonna venture from image it'd be uh superman which was that was john was that john Byrne at the time or was that still john Byrne no? he was already gone he was gone by I mean, then but it was, it was, it was his stupid character it was his it was his they continued up yeah, from his getting close thing. to the death of dribble so i would right so it would have been superman um and all image comics like that's the only like that's all i cared about um this is probably the I, only marvel book i bought because because it was miller mm. And I do think the image com I actually think the image comics again because they're new characters. I can accept things. I can accept anything in a comic if it's a character that I don't know about that's new. Superman, I'm hypercritical on Superman. I, I think you said this on one of your streams I was listening to, where you're like, you're never gonna be fully happy with any Superman movie. I think I don't think I'm gonna be fully happy either. Man. I'm, yeah. I, I'll just be weird. Hey, Chris, what's going I'm on, that. Chris? Yeah, him causing the death of the woman. I'm like, that's just. So yeah, so let's see what happens. Let's examine this a bit if closer. He had almost caused the death, maybe because of reckless, and he managed to. You know, it would have been very comic superhero book if he almost did, and he saves her in the just in time. He's able to save her, and he's like, "Oh my god, I almost got a woman killed," even though she was trying to hurt him. You know, okay, but so he caused her death. So wait, R R is saying so year one. I do own year one, but I haven't read that in a long time. So. Yeah, uh, we I play your one where Bruce fights the pimp. Okay, gets yeah, gets and gets jumped by the hooker, but it's a dialed up to eleven. So, so do you? Yeah, so there's a sim. So that's one of the similarities you're saying with yeah. this in your one where this. Um, okay, yeah, so let's take that, a look that here. Comic has the problems for me too. No, I like it. Yeah, but anyway. but I like your one better than this. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Um, Great art. And I thought the cartoon was not too. Actually, that cartoon wasn't yeah, was too bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that was good. Um, it's a raid. Okay. Yeah. So they're okay. So he jumps the guy. Now they're saying it's a raid and then, and then they start pounding on this kid. And then, so what happens here? He's trying to like get out of the, it, it looks yeah, like I mean, he backhands her by accident. Right. Or did he try to, or did he punch her? I can't like remember. He's just trying to get out. He thrashes. It says, so he's and like, then, he's like this, right? Yeah. He's and, just trying to get away. Didn't, you know? Yeah. So, so she's my, Oh no, please. And then, and then she, he looks out, no. And then that's, so this is, I think the thing is, is that Miller's trying to explain every sort of detail of this character. It's like, okay, this is why he would do this. Then here's why he would do this. But I don't think he would really do any of it. That's where I'm at. No. Like, I mean, I love Batman. You're one R, but I, I, I get, I ding it for the, 
I just thought it was ridiculous. A little bit too far that he gave turned uh, Selena Kyle into a prostitute. That made me sick. Plus, he got rid of the, the whole Barbara Gordon thing. It made no sense that because um, Barbara Gordon was, you know, in other words, there was there's no way she could a Batgirl could ever be Commissioner Gordon's daughter. She was, you know, they had a child, a young child. Well, is that did he have a son in that? They ignored him and had a young baby son. Yeah, his wife. Yes, yeah, it's coming back to me now. Yes, yes. Like, that's a weird doing? one like it's not a bad story but it's like you you messed with some of the characters that are the important characters so that's weird they had to kind of ignore it the fact that you know there was a barbara gordon running around right and i guess they just would have just kind of ignored that didn't pay attention to it but anyway yeah i, I mean i did love it's a great comic i mean yeah it's still a, it's a good comic but there's some things that are kind of weird about it this one has a lot of you know this one however yeah, I can't remember who said it in the uh, chat, but they said that um, uh, this comic ignores the fact that he's a devout Catholic. Yes, that, that, that was mentioned earlier. A lot of things, rather than he has trauma from like killing a woman and all this stuff, right? Yes. Um, like he's trying to over-explain stuff. It's like Han Solo, but like a lot grittier, where, where it's like that stupid Han Solo movie. Where it's like everything's yes. explained, but like you don't need to do that. He has his own philosophy. He's religious. You know, everyone agrees that Dark Knight Strikes Back is awful. That's a that's a universal standard. Yeah, Nobody true. likes it. Well, yeah. Now wait a minute. Nope. Dark Knight, right, try, uh, the, the second Dark Knight one was called Strikes Back. Yeah, that's called Strikes, strikes Back. Or was it, yeah. Okay, it was Strikes Again. So, yeah, strikes it's horrible, again horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Everyone, but, everyone hates that. That's oh, look, I, I love um, Year One, but they did some stupid shit. Do what they did to Selena Kyle was wrong, and doing yeah. you know. I'm sorry, what they did making Babs, making Barbara Gordon like the classic says, and adopted daughter all of a sudden was stupid retconny dribble, in my opinion. Yeah. So then um, they're like, so Stick is like, I wish there was more lines in this comic. I need to get paid a bit more so then there's more lines. <laughs> yeah, my face is full of lines. I have a lot of yeah, lines. It's a scratchy, here. and by the way, it's not necessarily Williamson's fault. This is a lot of that's John John Romita Jr. Yeah, it's a he's he's uh inking all this, right? Like, um, well, um, I would have inked it, but yeah. uh, you know, he doesn't erase crap from um, maybe Vince Coletta to come uh, in on this. He's not Vince Coletta, he's a professional, and he, he's like, he had to do this, right? The yeah. eradicator. Which they should have called Vinny, you know, Vinny, can you <laughs> the guy sees the face like, oh, shit, I can't do all these lines. <laughs> Vince! Get the deluxe eraser, it's like this. I think Vinny was retired thing. by this point. Okay, so there's gonna be I'm I'm gonna oh oh my god I just came up with the best idea ever. I'm gonna tired. propose this to bearded shirts. They need to sell Vince Coletta eraser sticks that say Vince Coletta. <laughs> it's like an eraser. Ooh. <laughs> when, wow, they could get in trouble. No, that hell, I'd say do it. <laughs> I'm gonna sell Vince. You might defend Jim Shooter though. No, oh, he's yeah. a Coletta defender. Oh. What? Oh, Jimmy! No, man. Oh well, God, don't, he hated when artists dirty. would bitch. Artists would bitch about Coletta's inks, and he, and he used to get mad at him for it. Oh, dude. Well, he was no. fast. Yeah, Coletta was uh, fast. Because I still man. like Shooter. I, I with all the faults, <laughs> like you can't. Defend I like it. Shooter, but you can't. I saw the video anymore. on what Coletta did. It's not just like erasing stuff. He would redraw buildings. Yes. In just as just cubes with like lines <laughs> for the windows. <laughs> It's what a, what a, yeah. 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 Yep. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> Causing hookers death. Deep yeah. Guilt about, yeah, he would feel it, but I don't For think sure, yeah. I wouldn't have yeah. even wrote it that way. We're talking about like fundamentally disagreeing with it, how they wrote it. See on this I guess see that's what passes for shading that face. I don't know. I mean look, he does it again on on Matt. Like I thought he had a mustache here or something. I'm like, what is going yeah. on? Yeah. It's just it's just so googly. Like, what's with the squiggliness? I, I just I don't get it. Um, all right, not, so okay, so here's Foggy. The the, and guess what? Foggy was also bullied. Wah, wah, wah. Like okay, this, all this horseshit with Paul. Yeah. By the way, weren't they? Since when did Matt Murdock go to uh, uh, Harvard? Yeah. What did they Columbia. say? What number was Columbia? They've said that. In the in the other comic, in the older one, they've said it in uh, the TV show Benetton, but it was because it was from the old comic. And this one, they had him go to Harvard for a while. 
after that, I guess. Because because right there they're at Columbia, aren't they? Yeah. But then he then he's Columbia, away right there, at Columbia for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember remember saying with Harvard, but who knows? Maybe, anyway, so yeah, this is again what what the, it's it's Columbia College. The guy picking on uh, hey, she just threw a bully scene because he wanted another bully scene. Yeah, I don't think this actually happens this way. I, like, no. I, I, I think I think high school there's a lot of dumbassery crap, but I'm thinking if there, if you're in if you're like in in a university, like why is that happening? Yeah. Like in university, yeah, like nobody that. cared about anybody. Well, hazing I walk, and stuff, yes, but not bullies. No, yeah, well, hazing for the whatever. That's right? high but school like, crap. Yeah, that is high school. University, I didn't talk to anybody or care about anything. I just, I barely, sh I showed up to class when I felt like it, and I still got my degree, but um, it, it's like nobody cared. There's no bullying of anything. It's like you no. just walk around your drone thing. Um, anyway, that's, so he's getting the books thrown at him. That's true, RR. He does copy himself a little bit here, yeah. But the difference is, that's just some silly college idiot, and I thought that didn't work in this. It worked mm. in Batman Year One. He did that after he fought Jim Gordon. It was one of the coolest scenes in Batman Year One. When Joe um, Dog. This is when, hey, Joe Dog. This is when um, <laughs> Miller decided that he would totally retcon uh, Jim's Gordon. He's not like this, you know, you know, Jim Gordon becomes Mr. Badass and takes out Flash. Remember the scene? He's Lieutenant Gordon or whatever in Batman right. Year One. When he's about to fight the corrupt cop Flash, who's a big old big muscle bound dude, and he says it's been ten years since I've had to take out a Green Beret. Still, I figure he uh, he deserves a handicap. And he throws him a stick. Right. Wow, Jim Gordon's like a bad mother. You don't want to mess with. I'm talking about Jim Gordon. How much Gordon? <laughs> I, let me see Spectacular Spider-Man Eleven. Let me see if I have that one. I never. Have, I don't have a memory for it, but I have everything marked down. Number eleven. Oh my God! I have one through ten of Spectacular Spider-Man. I don't have number eleven. <laughs> I'm thinking since the seventy-seven, he means Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's not to be mean. pedantic, but oh, it, oh, uh, sorry, uh, Fanti out, Phantom, Phantom Outsider. Is that you there in the? Chain? Where's really? Phantom Outsider when you need him? The fact checker. It's like <laughs> the, no, the annoying, like nerve wracker, more like. Uh, yes, it is Peter. It's technically at that, that point it. it's still called the Peter He's Peter yeah. Parker Spectacular Spider Man. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, but yeah, I have one through ten, but I don't have number eleven. Damn it! This I'm was, gonna buy it. This was disturbing. Ugh. I mean, this is crazy. So he's naked on the ground here, like Miller. You never mind. Like, is this snow? Like, this is crazy. It's just waste of time. It's time waster crap. This is like. Yeah, you know, he's, he takes care of a bully. He scares a bully. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're sleeping. We the don't like bullies. I'd rather at least, I'd rather them like kick a bully's ass. And then he's worse. He becomes a bully by stopping, of all things, stopping Foggy from watching Star Trek. That makes him the villain in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You don't Space stop your, your roommate from watching Star Trek just because you you can't see it, you little weedle. To boldly go. Now they're just sitting here. Yeah. You should at least listen to Star Trek, you jerk. Yeah. Maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> I do like Medusa. I have a really cool bust of Medusa. Yeah. Uh, yes, not her impressive. bust, but... Yes, it's, it's, very, it's very impressive. Yes, it's very impressive. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the bust money can buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Gordon kind of needed to be tough in Batman Year One because he's the audience POV character. Yeah. Oh, I was cool. I'm just saying. I had no problem with it. It's like I'm complaining. I'm saying it was new. He was mm. like a kind of a more, you know, just older, sophisticated, like, you know, old grizzled cop. But, but you know, usually Batman did all the, the ass kicking in his own comic. Thank you. And then that, what did that lead to? It led to that stupid show Gotham where it was basically Jim Gordon should have been wearing the damn costume at that point. Oh, that show was poops. Oh, I didn't finish so it. And here we go. Dare and Skinny something. Penguin. Yeah. Skinny yeah. Penguin. So we're, yeah, we're and at that time I was over 300 yeah. pounds. Where's where's my fat representation? I yeah. want my I want my fat. It's penguin. right here. I got it for you. It's like so uh, you didn't feel seen or heard. Correct. Yeah. I'm very upset. I want fat <laughs> I want fat penguin. It's it like, it, 
It, it, it's like yeah, no, whack, whack. Well, now yeah, you're about yeah. to get Godfather Penguin. Ugh, boring. So here you got Dare Boy. Oh, that looks so boring. It's so boring. Like there are people that are pretending like they're excited about it. I'm like, oh, 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 oh Clobby, oh, I'm so happy you that. said it that way. Yes. You know why? That means yeah. I've had, I've influenced you because I always say people are pretending that they're. Thank good. you. I'm so happy. This makes me very happy. Well, thanks for influencing <laughs> me because it makes me sick. I saw people like online. Well, this looks awesome. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Go watch The Godfather. I mean, that would be fine. Like, why do you want to watch did you Why, want? why yeah, the yeah. hell do you need a Batman villain to be in a Godfather movie? What uh, what trailer did they watch? The, this looks great. I was like, yeah. what looks what? great? That trailer, oh, nothing happened. He's talking <laughs> on a couch. It's it's uh, terrible. I didn't no. see it yet. No, uh, sure, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. He's, like, he's talking on a couch. He's sitting on a couch he talking. He's, not, he's like, dude, Brando, dude. Yeah, yeah. I so I so it, he doesn't it's, look it's, like it's, Colin Farrell at all. Of course. Oh my god, it's like stop it. Oh, it looks pretty good. Why? Like what it is. My favorite line now, Clobby, is I like it for what it is. What a boring TV show. Oh, I hate I that. Know. That's one of my dude. You want to see my pet, pet beef? Well, it's good for what it is. No, it's what what is it then? Tell me what, what it is. is it? It's a terrible show. It's good for what it is. It's just I mean, first of all, people don't understand villains anymore because they don't no. know how to write villains anyway. Villains yeah. are there for one god reason in heroic fiction, especially superheroes. They're there to make the hero look good. And there's some right. great villains, don't get me wrong. Nine times out of ten, they don't hold, they don't carry their own stories. Right. They're there for the heroes. That's why I hate that stupid Joker movie, but don't get me on that. Yeah. Actually, I actually don't hate that. I just don't think it's anything. It's not the stuff. Joker. That's it's not, not a bad Joker. Yeah, it's not it's a just, badly made film. Yeah, it's, it's just, just not the a Joker. taxi driver. I mean, just go it watch is. taxi driver. And King of Comedy. It's King of Comedy. And King of it, Comedy. It, You're right. Yes. It's the two of those. Mer it's really the two of those merged with the Batman. Uh, with the Batman villain. They 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 use an established comic book property so they can get a big budget for an art film. Right. Yep. Kudos. Dude, why did it make you, a billion you, dollars? Why? I have no idea. Please tell me why. I don't Listen, understand. Listen, it. it's it's a well made film. It's well acted and all of that. It's just not the Joker. So I, I don't usually make a billion dollars though. I mean, it's crazy. It's People love it's Joker. Insanity. Anyway, yeah, they love so it. here we go. We got, yeah, we got Dare Boy. I love Sean Pertwee. Um, he's he, John Pertwee's he was, my favorite. He was but, cool. Yeah, is that John? John Pertwee's my favorite doctor. Not the best. Tom Baker's the best, but my favorite is I John, love Pertwee. John Pertwee. And it's a um, crime that Sean Pertwee never got a chance to play him oh, in an episode. Did you see when he dressed up like him on oh, that one? God, yeah. Oh my god, that was awesome. Perfect. Um, yeah, criminal, uh, criminal. Uh, but I, this looks cool. This is cool to jumping around. This is a here classic kind of flipping around. And I just saw the trailer. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, it uh, looks like cheap television, right? Doesn't it's terrible. Asleep. Like, yeah. stop you it. You didn't fall asleep. I he did. Yeah. <laughs> we woke him up. Yeah. Wake up, right. Sean. Uh, I love that Sean know. is watching this trailer during the live stream. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 It's, you oh. think it's gonna? We'll, we'll see. It's got it's lady. A musical. It's a musical. Yeah. You know what I don't like about this art here, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt looks like a kid. He's not. They didn't. I don't know. He's drawing him. When you're looking at this, it's almost confusing. I know he's in college. That's why we know he's not necessarily. A, he looks like he could be 13 right there. Yeah, that's true. Where's all? Where's Mustache? I mean, where's short, his? Look how short and stubby he is. Look yeah. at the face right there. Yeah. I mean, that could be a, a 14 year old for all we know. Yeah. Uh, jumping down, jumping, leaping around, and he slips and falls because he's a goof. Runs after, it's like, what's going on? Oh, what? It was a woman. There's her panties. And yeah. Like, and then the cops come. So you're a panty thief, eh? No, no, I'm not a panty a thief. Panty raid. Home. Panty raid. Uh, well, this so, looks terrible. Yeah. Um, like, it looks, looks like the Joker. Uh, yeah, um, I don't care much for this art. I mean, why'd you have to get this team to do this? Like this is Maza Kelly was unavailable, I guess. Not that it would matter because the story wouldn't be fitting for him anyway. Because if you want a Daredevil story, you're not getting it. Yeah, no, so not really. She drive yeah, she drives by and oh Matt, right? And he jumps in the car with her. They drive off and Foggy's like, what what happened? Why am I being a left alone oh, here in the, in, the, in, the, in the thingy? And then, yep. Yeah, and then she's all crazy. She's, a crazy girl. she's a bad girl. She jump jumps off this thing. 
flying going off the cliff here. And then she jumps out and goes around her bare feet. It's like, oh, I don't care about the wind. No, this is obviously not Canada because uh, they, they wouldn't be doing this shit here. No. <laughs> it's, like, man. it's like uh, it's like it was minus two today and I went out for a walk. So today? it's, it's like, yeah, I, I, I went, yeah, today was minus two. So what I don't know what that is for so you. Thir- that's like 30. It's like 30 or something. Really? Wow. It's 80 something degrees here. That's like, yeah. I don't know what that is for you, but it's, we'll put it this way. This Sunday for Easter, one of my nephew's house, and we're going to heat the pool just a tad so we can all swim outside of the heat. Oh, geez. Yeah. No, I oh, won't be wow. doing any swimming. <laughs> in, in March, we're going swimming. You got, I don't know. You know. I don't know we had we had snow not too long ago. We had snow oh, like last we week. We had a big snowstorm last weekend. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're just cooler, and by and by cooler I mean temperature wise than you guys. Um, yes, you are. No, you're cooler in every way. <laughs> but only I don't think for our own state. And I live in crappy Louisiana, so there's no more cool here. But uh, yeah, this is just I don't know. This comic man. Now I remember why I didn't like it when it came out. <clears throat> it's not very good. Yeah, so it's like it's it's jump it's he's the the, the big she jumps down and whatever, woo. Okay, well, that's it. Been there a little romance before, and now issue number three is all the same people: Ramita Williamson on the cover, Miller writer, Ramita Jr. penciler, and, and Williamson inker, Shield colors, Rosen letters, and Karate Kid, and some other guy did the editing of this. Uh, this I, I love how. Marvel's like so paranoid. They put Daredevil like in a like a big like silhouette on the back of each cover. I mean in the background of each cover. And you got on this one you got Electra in costume on there. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Oh yeah. What Just so you know that that she's in it. Well, yeah, they can't they gotta sell it. Yeah. The miniseries. It's not like a regular issue. And it's on it was on very Strong cardstock paper. Well, I didn't look at the, well, how much was this one? Let me take a look. Oh, for back then it wasn't much. It was like two ninety five. That was a lot though. Back then, this is nineteen ninety three. That is a lot. I mean, this yeah. comic was originally released in uh, let's see, on uh, October twenty sixth, nineteen ninety three. So. so, what was Image Comics at that time? They were dollar ninety nine, I believe, at this About time. About a buck something. I mean, they were like, yeah, something like that. I mean, maybe that much. This was a. Uh, Image was doing a, a definitely higher quality paper than the, than the big two, I think, or at least. Big, oh, comics, I know that for a fact. They, they were doing they, this, yes, but yeah. this was on a very. I don't know if you have these floppies, but the floppies I don't have these on very uh, slick paper, and the covers are very elaborate. I mean, you know, they look nice huh. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Very uh, cardstock covers. So well, yeah. nice. Yeah, if you went did cardstock and they cut them wrong, they're always like a little shorter than the actual. Um, inside why is do you know you know what sean you're right why is that that pit that Ooh. always irked the who shit did? out of me it's, it's a printing error who did but um, there should be a almost bleed. anyone who who did cardstock oh. back then oh, okay. i noticed that but you know. did you know so clobby did you know did you notice that there's always like it's like a half a millimeter trim is just slightly off like it's just a little bit yes. thin. why do you like i mean i don't understand I don't why know. that's like that like yeah, you know, like Phalanx Covenant, all of them are like that. I have a bunch of those in my basement. You remember Phalanx Covenant? They did cardstock for all of those uh, uh, crossover issues, and they're all just short, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. You're right, Sean. There, it's yeah. like half a millimeter or millimeter. There yeah. should be so. There's what we call allowances when you when you fold paper. Like if you have a bunch of paper, the more out you get the more the allowances have to be in order to, when you fold them, you're folding it on a bigger amount. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So if it's yeah. this big and it folds, this needs to be slightly bigger than this. The first sheet needs to be just maybe half a mil less than this one in order for the allowances to go around it. So, cause you're going to have an extra bit going over. So like yeah. we call it, we, we it, like we have score, like in, in paper industry, there's, it's called scoring allowances. So you have to have certain allowances. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, and, and I bet you what they're doing to save money is everything we go by papers, we go by millimeters. So millimeters matter. So what they're probably doing is to save costs, they're making it all the same millimeters. And the thicker the book is, as you fold it, the allowances, the allowances 
are they're not changing the allowances so therefore it's becoming a little shorter because you're the further out you get and if it's a card stock it doesn't fit but that's really cheap to do yeah no they're, they're so yeah when you do that when you fold it rather than have the glue um that's called saddle stitch okay and, there you go and, yeah and, and and everything else that's, I mean, even um, that that South Sword Dakota and the brand new one is Sal's. Yeah, I have it right here. And, and, and the cover is succinct to the the uh, the guts of it. I don't know what they did. Like, I always thought it was an error. You could, may, maybe your theory is right that they're saving money in that. No, no, they, they, they are. For every hundred or thousand, they're saving X amount of, of money. No, no, but they definitely looks, are, Sean. It feels like crap. And, and I, I always thought if that's the case, then why do it at all? Like what's the no, but, but you know what the thing is. This is a paper. I'll say this real quick, and then we'll move on. Yeah. People don't understand the way that the, the 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 paper industry like works because it's going by millimeters. Once they one, if they're ordering a certain amount, and that amount can be accomplished in a roll, that's the roll. Right. They're not gonna put a new roll to lose time because if you make it a little bit bigger and you can't fit the same amount on a roll, that's another roll. So yeah. there's a setup time. We're charging. Well, I don't want to really say what we're doing, but it's uh, like if you said I just want one box, yeah, it's going to cost you two hundred dollars for one box because mm -hmm. it's like that's how it, it takes half an hour to set the machine up. Whether we make one box or one hundred thousand, you still have to set it up to make that box. So like setup charge is like a hundred bucks. Period. Like you've done nothing. You've just, you've just set the machine. So when someone's like, but that cost gets eaten up as more. So if you order a thousand, you start, you might pay a dollar each. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why there's these minimum points. This happens with toy in this, in this, uh, this happens. I was watching cause I was, I remember with, um, the, uh, um, when even with Michael retro was talking about like plastics and stuff, mm -hmm. there's this minimum quantity of plastic. It's the same thing. Like, and it's sometimes it's weird. Like you might be like, well, I just want, you know, 900 instead of 950, but 950 is the break point. And you're like, why is 900 cost $3 a box and 950 cost $1.50 a box? It's like, how can it be like that? It's only 50 more, right? But if 50 more fit on that roll, then it's one full roll, you're done. Yeah. FK, sorry, we both work. I'm sorry. Paper, so <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, was, I worked sorry. in printing, but only as a I'm helping move the paper around and delivering it and stuff. I learned, <laughs> I learned a few things. Yeah. Mm. All right. Here's so let's 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 continue on here. So we got a lecture here. They're in the the uh, they're going into water, they're doing all these high end uh jumping around into the into the oceans here and jumping off the buildings. <clears throat> Marvel team up one. That's awesome. With that's him and Jake Christmas Schroeder. One, I think. <clears throat> um, Christmas yep, uh, that's uh, Christmas. Yeah, San, uh, Human Torch and Spidey and Human Torch with a yep. I meaning yep. Sandman. It's like a yes, real Sandro, arguably. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is um, so he comes back, he's all he's all wet, and whoosh, it's like the lines around his eyes tell all the truth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so he's, he's he's sneaking into Electra's thingy. I mean, I started to get. I feel like like I, I feel like this is like I don't want to say this is. I'm definitely not. Gosh, I don't want to say it's like modern comics where it's like why is this five parts? Yeah. But about at this point in my reading now, again, I'm reading this digitally. Uh, the digital, the Comicsology version meshes it together as one product, like one file, yeah. like it's one yeah. thing. And, and, and this is the point where you know in comicsology if you tap if you tap the center of the screen it, it shrinks it and it shows you how much pages are left yeah I'm like, yeah yeah i'm like wait how much is left of this like oh it's like what is because i'm like i don't care about any of this right now like i mean i already know all of this this is just yeah this, no that's what i didn't like it's it's encyclopedic in that like i know all of this so there's no susp suspense for me i don't know why i'm reading five of these and Everything that you are telling me is messed up somehow. So it's like it, it, it doesn't fit the character or anything. So yeah, yeah. Miller had like, already lost it. But the last good thing he he ever did for me, I guess, was probably Born Again. I mean, I know people like Sin City wasn't really my bag, and but fine. I mean, it's, I mean or three hundred. I mean, three hundred is awesome. He I like did, the movies, I never really cared about the comic that much. Nothing against them. I just wasn't my mm. bag. But 
this. Yeah. He comes back to Daredevil and doesn't do a Daredevil story. He just retcons the hell out of the origin and makes it dull. I mean, I'm sick. Again, it's too much into the origin. Batman Gear 1 is still him being Batman. Right. Starting out, but he's being Batman. This is If this had been Daredevil Year 1... Right. That might be... That would have been better. Yeah. He did... Um, Frank Miller, did he not do um, uh, Big Guy and Rusty? The, the boy and robot? He, he wrote it, I think. Yeah. He wrote it, yeah. I like that. There's only two issues, but they made a whole cartoon I, series out I think of it. I so. bought it, but I can't remember it. Yeah. I liked it or not. Yeah. I'm oh sure. man, I'm kicking that sure dog! Kick the dog, kicking doggies. I'm not sure I liked another Daredevil, but I mean, Miller comic after this. I mean, after a Born Again, that I can think of. I'm sure there must be something, but I'm not drawing mm. a blank. Yeah. Oh my! Oh my! Kicking, kicking that dog. He cucked him actually. <laughs> Your daughter came onto my property and she kicked my dog. Remember that? Tank? Huh? Oh no! From um, Kerpal. Kerpal. My name is Kerpal. You guys don't know this? My name is Kerpal, really? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Like, you know, this you know, like is a phone, a phone thing? Like phone gags. Yeah, those guys. Yeah. Those, those guys, they'd be like... Oh, Kerpal. the no, Jerky Boys? Jerky Boys. Jerky, yeah, oh, jerky yeah. Boy, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, God. Kerpal. He goes, your daughter came onto my property and she kicked my dog. He's like, what, which daughter? The one who answered the phone. It's like... And then you're like, Have you seen movie. the movie or no? No, I'm sure it's... I'm sure, I'm sure it's I'd like it. It's probably awful. <laughs> yeah. I, but I like awful movies. Like I remember Cisco and Demer reviewed it, and then oh, Cisco yeah. thought that oh my god, like the youth of today, if they like this. So then, well, as he was leaving, he saw two guys, two young guys, and one guy turned to the other guy and goes, "Um, that was awful. What a waste of my money." And, and he's like, "Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so good." Yeah. Anyway, Cisco and Eber <laughs> would commit suicide. Uh, from all the garbage that's coming, they, they, like, oh, they, they would go nuts today. Yeah. They would because go they would nuts. Actually, they would have the guts to call it out. They would. Yeah. When there are no critics left, they're, they're gone. There's none. I mean, other than individual people, me. no <laughs> me. career critics, though, like them. Remember? Yes. Please pay me for my my. Well, then you pay pay me for my reviews. Um, Chicago sometimes. So then, this is all dude the running fate. around kicking dogs and faces, and from these just. Uh, who cares? So, wow! Punch, kick in the face, kick in the hand. I kick you in your face and then kick you in your hand. I kick your face, I kick, kick you out. Face. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm gonna break your face. Yeah. So there we go. It's a party. It's a crash. He crashed the party. Get it? He he he. She keeps playing oh. the piano. She got big glasses. She looks really really weird because the art sucks. Yeah, yeah. this is what what happened here. Electro good looking it's, woman. It's almost like they copied his style from Dark Knight or, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, yeah. He did you can't get it when to cut it now. <laughs> it looks like Miller might have actually laid this out and didn't take credit. So it looks like Miller. It looks Millery in some ways and not in yeah, good it does. ways. Yeah. Run like away. his later stuff. I mean, I'm sorry. I could not stand his Ronin. I don't know if you guys like Or his Dark Knight wrote that much. Dark Knight but had some okay stuff in it, but. Some stuff. This I never read similar. Ronan. This looks something no. like that. Ronan is man. I, it's. I'm sorry. We were. I was cautiously optimistic about it when it came out. I I tried to order light on it. The boss wouldn't listen to me. And got stuck with a bunch of copies. It was a very slick format. Very new for the time. Expensive. Got stuck. Like Eighty three. Oh yeah. God. He said, "No, it's Frank Miller." It's Frank. I said, "Yeah, but you know, it's not an established character. I think we should go a little bit light on it. You know, get some mm -hmm. of them where I want." I said, "Look, I want it because it's Frank Miller, but most people." Oh no 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 no! All right, <laughs> took forever to come out too. By the way, oh yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it now. It's like, what works? <laughs> I hate the art in it. I mean, I, could, I was like, good lord, dude, really? Uh, I mean, I, mean I don't, I don't. Again, I don't mind the art because it's not an it's established different. guy. It's not like it's not an established character. Um, but like, I don't. You know, if, if you're messing with Electra, making her look like a loser, then yeah, I don't like that. Well, I didn't care much for the Sienkiewicz painting stuff of the Electra Assassin miniseries. A lot of people liked it. I couldn't get into it. It's not really a, a comic book story. Or it's not mm -hmm. really... It's just a bunch of paintings. Right. I thought... I, I did not care for that book. And everyone was going ape shit about that when it came out. But Electra Assassin, I don't know if you read it. But. Oh, yeah. yeah. Miller, oh, Miller, I, yes. Miller yes. wrote it. Yeah. I don't know what to feel about that one. It's a, That's a weird one for me. I, 
I kind of, I, I, I don't know. It's tough to read for me because it's just like, I like, paintings are nice, but it's not really sequential art telling a story to me. Yeah, I have yeah. it. And I remember not liking it, but not telling anyone that because everyone was dying over this thing. Oh God, they were going I don't know what to think about it. I, yeah. I looked at it the other day. I actually have a digital version of it. And it, oh, it yeah. to me, it looks kind of, it's weird. It's like, it's ugly nice or what's what's like what like f not fugly because that's not yeah, really not get you. like that's another it, 90s one no it was 80s 85 ish somewhere up there i mean oh wow when i wow. met miller in 86 he was, it was just coming out it was just come out or whatever and he did ask us some questions about it well you know he wanted they wanted to know what we thought about it you know when we met him it was you know dark night was just coming out yeah and so was watching him so. Matt gets injured here. Uh, Last comments liked uh, Ronan. There you go. A lot of people did. Nothing yeah. Wrong with that. It's Again, if it's not an established character, I'm super open minded. No, no, I am too. I don't. I didn't care about that. I just didn't really care for the story that much. It's not. It's interesting yeah. enough. And that was my. By the way, I was 19 or 20, something like that. If I go back now, I still have trouble with the art. I look at it. I might go back now and have a different take on the story. I just remember mm -hmm. not liking. Yeah. I'm yeah. open. I haven't read it. All I care about is Fist of the North Star and Fantastic Four and Legion for our streams. Fist of the North Star is my whole life now. I don't care about anything. I might go and read back some of those, but you'd have to not tell my son I'm he'd kill me. Oh, <laughs> Fist of, well, your son would like Fist of the North Star, I bet. That's not that. Because oh. there's, he, he, I just don't want to read any manga. And he's always telling me to read One Fist. One Piece is his favorite thing in the world. Yeah. But And so if, if I don't, if I read any other manga, if I decided to read a manga, which I don't really like him that much, <laughs> other, than, other than Lone Wolf's Cub, he would have a fit. Lone Wolf and Cub is is ten out of ten. Oh, I'm not but saying we. I didn't read it. I haven't read. Um, I haven't read Electro Assassin. I have it on digital. It looks. It look. I kind of like it, but then I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I feel. Sometimes, like there's certain things. Like if you look at like when we're looking at like Jack Kirby or something, and we see something, you're like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Like there's some instantaneous. This is awesome. This Electro Assassin. I looked through it. And I thought. I don't know what to think about this. It's like, I kind of think it looks neat, but then I'm not sure. And I kept going back and forth and I was like, well, and we weren't going to review it for this program anyway. So I thought, well, I'm not going to worry about it because while we were doing this, I figure, let me start downloading to my iPad, all these digital Frank Miller things that I purchased. Um, so all these things, I was like, well, this one, I'm not too, I'm, I'm not sure what I think about it, but I would like to read because I do really like Electra, the character anyways. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm distressing uh, RR tonight. I'll just say, RR, I'll just you'll say, be okay. Now I'll just say that that's. I mean, it. You know, I could go back and read it again and have a totally different opinion of it. That's happened to me in my life before. You never know, RR. But I'm looking at it. You know, I look at it every now and then, and I mm -hmm. just remember not being super in love with the the art. The we'll story. take a look at it. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at the looking at it right now. Yeah, we'll take a look at I it on screen. I did not care for that that art much. And Thanks. I want to see what did he say? Copy single favorite panel is in issue three. So we'll bring it up at the end as, after this, and and because I'm there'll be time. There's not that much more sure, to sure, go. Sure. Um, so anyway, I will say I read the I read the first forty two chapters of One Piece. It, it is good. It is shown in manga, so keep that in mind, which may or may not play to things that you like, Clobby. I Lone Wolf and Cup to me is a masterpiece. Fist of the North Star is a masterpiece so far. Um, my wife loves One Piece. Um, I've read the first 42 chapters or something like that, or right. 45. There, there, It is fun, but it's a little... It's uh, The show has condensed it, and shown yeah, in I manga, a lot of it is extended. Like It's like it'll be like one chapter where just guys are talking and getting ready to fight. And then they talk a bit more and then there's like maybe a couple of punches thrown. And then, so it, it's, it's very drawn out. So keep that in mind. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I just, just a bit general, not big on manga. That's all. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with the story. Okay. Yeah. I like the show. I love the show. The which, pisses off. Him off, which pisses him off the no end, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. That I watched it. He's mad at me. Watch. <laughs> Uh, interesting, but anyway, all right, right. here we go. So this, this is all really exciting stuff right here. He's injured, he's bleeding. What is it with dudes in their underwear, Frank? Come on, man, all Gets through this comment, and then like he won't let Foggy in. Oh, no, no, yeah, here he comes. She comes yeah. out with her trench coat. Hi, right, baby. Hi, right, baby. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look what you guys did. You, you get on my ass for watching Star Trek, but you do this, yeah. 
Yeah, and then isn't this isn't Matt being a bully by by destroying his like I I, I don't get it like yeah, rules goes through books at me. It's like well you destroyed my shit. Matt's like, a jackass. That's another thing. You know he's an intense guy. The TV show which I love. There were times I thought it was a little bit over the top of his a hole, but the comic generally sometimes too. All fine and good, but in this is just it's everything's too much. You know. I know, I know, R. I'm just teasing you, man. We love you, brother. No, well, I do anyway. Yes, you, you we know. do. We love you. And and he's <laughs> and and, and Eddie's out. sending his shirt out. Um R oh, picked wow. a Green Lantern shirt, so he picked a Green Lantern shirt. Oh, oh man, you gotta show that to us, R when you get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me know when you get that. It's gonna be like you're gonna forget you ordered it by the time we get it. Ed, Eddie is like massively behind, and these print all over shirts, there's a lot of processing to do. It's not like this where T Public prints it in two seconds and then just ships it out, and who cares? Like, there's a lot of care put into these because they have to match it. Like, see, look at Sean's. Like, it mat. Like, like, see, it's like it mat. The sleeve it has to go into the sleeve. Right, it all has to right. match, right? Like, that's the, that's the thing. You can't just. Yeah, you see, like it continues on, right? Like you can't just, you can't just print it. Like this is just, this is T Public. You just, you printed it, and this is from Midsummer, which I, it was. Well, I, I think Sean liked it too. I liked um, it. Yeah. yeah, this. So Sean and I are the only two people who like that movie. But um, it, this is just like a one. It's just a quick print, and then they, it's out the door, right? So it's not the same as the way Eddie does it. But uh, uh, all right, so let's continue on. Uh, Electra, this is you know they got the city here going walking down. So she lures these guys uh, in. Uh, to, to come attack her, but then she, you know, drops her robes and then, then she's got yeah. this stuff on. And like, oh, I'm going to get you now. You're frightened, aren't you? I'm going to kill you all. I'm going to kill you all. Yay. I mean, I, I mean, they're, they're, and they're, uh, they're ass wipes. So yeah, let them get beat up. But I don't understand. Right. Like, I get the point. She's trying to be this big badass, but like, I just like, whatever. Maybe like, I just want to care. kill somebody for no reason. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, they deserve it. No, like, I like how she can throw that guy with one hand, though. Yeah, she can lift yeah. that dude and throw him in one, one hand. She has superpowers. Thank you. I <laughs> know it's a funny book. No big deal. I'm just saying. this. I was like, whoa, what's going to go? What's going on here? And I'm like, okay, wait a minute, that was weird. Um, yeah, that that was definitely. Uh, that I think that I think I I think that's even that that that's a Rachel. Uh... Weird, weird. <laughs> Yeah, like what is going on here? Uh, <laughs> is it is it all proportion? Care? No, I'm just I'm just joking. I'm not gonna e e equal opportunity uh, asking. Um, um, so she beats these guys up, kicks them, poosh, punches punches this guy. Poosh, oh, that was good. That was a good shot. And she Ooh. kills the, the chain. woman. Whoosh, snap! Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Here goes what the heck happened here? <laughs> Oh, I'm just putting on my robe and going out. Oh, I love New York. What do you mean you didn't see nothing? I was drunk. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I didn't say nothing. I don't know nothing. It's like, all right. <laughs> and here they are in their... Now he's got black underwear instead of the white. Yeah, but jeez, man. Now they're black just... Speedo. Speedo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, I can finally play that and have it make sense. Hold on. <laughs> what? You want some advice? Take your fancy clothes and your black silk underwear and go back to Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. Disneyland. What a great actor. <laughs> yes, he, 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 he is. He is. Um, he's the best ever. He oh, is. He's one of the best. Good thing I don't watch his things because I'd be so good I couldn't stand it. I, mean, really. you, I don't think you'd be able to me. understand the awesomeness of Van Damme, it's, Bobby. It, it's too good for me. I think it would probably, I would like burst. My head would just burst into yeah. flames with his greatness. It, would be too much. It, 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 it might It might happen. It might actually yeah, happen. I believe it's that good. <laughs> like, I've got to be careful. Yes, be careful. Please, please. Um, uh, and then there's this guy. And then there's this yeah. You ever watch? You ever watch Penn and Teller bullshit? Yeah, well, uh, oh, I have. Yeah. That, that, and there, there's one where they're like, they they always yeah. keep saying, and then there's this asshole. And then there's this guy. Yeah. And then they actually showed. Well, there's actually one where they actually showed a like a butt. And they're like, we've been waiting three seasons to set this up. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's the, true, I agree. Classic. That is very true. I mean, that movie, everyone thought it was in shoe in that year to get best picture, best director. 
Best actor. It was. It was. It was, it was all of those and, things. Hard, hard and, Target it was, changed my life. Like it was probably a conspiracy against it because remember, since Liebig was good to the top ten of the year, and um, it was voted like with Time Magazine's top ten, twenty movies of the all time and stuff. It still was studied in film school. That movie. It's John Woo, man. Hard Target is John Woo. Have you seen Hard Target? No. Since, oh, since I like John Woo, but that look oh, who's in it. So. Oh, like Vaughn. Lance Henriksen is the villain and Arnold Vosloo. I mean, it's like super epic. I'm sold. I think I have. I don't know. Maybe I have. I can't remember. And Sam Raimi produced it. And Sam Raimi's Ted Raimi is in it for for a, a quick uh, appearance. Um, now you're just making it up. No, no, Ted Raimi's in it. Ted Raimi's in it. Ted Raimi's, Ted Raimi's in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hard Target cha literally changed my life. I like I, we I we dressed like I'm me and my kidding. buddies dressed like Van Dam. Got the earring. Like all of that stuff. It's like our our lives were changed by by Hard Target. It was just the great. We all talk like Van Dam. Earrings for sissies. Oh, you have earrings. Sorry. I have two, <laughs> two, two in one ear. <laughs> I'm twice. I'm twice over. Sissy yes. over. Sorry, you got you some kind of a sissy boy. Yeah, I got so, two earrings, boy. So so this uh, it's just I don't know, man. I just wasn't feeling this thing. You? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just like I feel like this could have been a two parter, and then just have like a cool, like maybe the first book could have been some highlights, and then him fighting in the and black. Then become costume. Daredevil, maybe. How about that? Yeah, like yeah, book one could have been some highlights of right. his career. Uh, book two could have been if you want to do the black costume, put him in the black costume to say this is before the yellow costume, and have him do. Um, I ain't got right. no change, man. Yeah, right. That's it. That's the line, buddy. The last yep. couple of issues could have and been and Wilford Brim, yeah, Wilford Brimley's in it too. Oh yeah, well there you go. I'm sold. You're sold. Sold Americans. Yeah, you know, the last couple of it, you know, at least the last issue maybe could have been his first adventure as Daredevil. Yes. Um, well, now we're going to see how Kingpin. Now it's a little bit of the of Kingpin's. Um, now the King again. That's Rep Connie. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He was a Spidey villain. I mean, at least show the Kingpin talking about Spidey, even though we can't have Spidey. Mm -hmm. Spidey started before Daredevil. And then he his, he snaps his neck, takes the rose. That was Kingpinny. Yes. That was Kingpinny. Hey, he just killed his boss, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm now the Kingpin of crime. I'm the Pin King. As a voice of the... Let's see, all the same usual suspects on this issue here number four of that double but mom without peer was released uh november 23rd oh wow that's yeah that's a special day Doctor Who, 1993 the doctor who's 30th anniversary um all the same suspects uh ramita jr on um, williamson on the cover miller writer ramita jr penciler al williams the great al williamson anchor shield colors rosen letters and uh macchio and some other guys, editors. So, there you go. There you and go. again, Daredevil on the cover. Nowhere else. Yeah. All right. So you got these guys here all beat up. <clears throat> I'm the kingpin. Uh, it's like I'm taking over everything. Why don't we hear this from Grissom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We run the city into the ground. It's yeah, like, right. it. and I say, starting with this anniversary fest, uh, we run no the city to the ground. Yeah. yeah, if we can't, if we can't do, if we can't make a deal, well, we'll just shake hands and that'll be it. Ooh, yeah. we got a live one here. Ooh, <laughs> in the old town tonight. tonight. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, Kingpin is um, taking over. Matt Murdock went to Harvard for some reason. At this point, this is they've moved the story up. Yep few years i guess he's working and he goes to this uh neighborhood yeah, this, this, this guy's the same guy is it the same dude like i don't know picked like on him as kids? Now, basically we get another bully scene because frank likes those yeah. hey blind man you should give us your money kick in the face snap Let me break double your kick, face double clothesline what are these guys the 46th street gang All yes right. They're bad mothers. Forty Street Gang yeah, come out true. to play. Forty <laughs> Street Gang come they out. They got their asses kicked by the Yancey Street Gang out here. Yeah, Yancey Street Gang. Yep. Punch, punch, Pop, chop, boop. cat, chop, whoop, whack, chuck, chuck. Leave so, yeah. me alone. 
I don't know. I think this guy's going to be kicked out of the gang here. They gra grabbed his hair and beat him up. Bloodied hand. Cree. Hey, what's going on in here? Hey, there's the old poster. Didn't they, didn't they take it down? Like, really? Yeah, I know. Bob Wells, Jim, so. Now, this was in the first or second episodes of this was the first couple episodes of Netflix, right? With the with the kidnapping of the women and stuff, and then well, sort yeah, of mentioned to it, yeah. But there's also yeah, the sex trafficking. You know. Actually, yeah. it was only mainly, but mainly dealt with the the kidnapping of a little boy. Remember? Oh, the the oh, that was the uh, no. Didn't he save a bunch in of the first women? Episode, he the... did save a bunch of girls that were being a bunch yeah. They yeah, take Turk. Remember, he, kicked, he met Turk was in the first one. He kicked Turk's ass. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, um, yeah, this, right. of course, was something different. And she fling shots, he catches it. You can catch that? It's like, hell yeah, I can catch a lot of things. I caught a cold once. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're working out here. Matt, well, not, as I don't like this at all. This is goofy. This is, yeah. When did he do wrestling? Yeah, like this looks like luchador matches. He was a wrestler, I guess. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like it's like okay, devil. They called you devil. They call him the. I don't like that either. They gotta stop this. Like, oh yeah, they call them this and whatever. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, well, <laughs> yeah. I they just... call him Daredevil. So he, so they call him, and then because of that, they called Matt Daredevil because his dad was there. I, I, I think if I was, I think as a kid, I didn't know what any other kids' dads did. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I wouldn't have known to make fun of. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, would, I wouldn't have known to, like, to make fun of a kid's dad because, oh, your dad's a plumber or something. Like, right. Right. Like, I'd be like, okay, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what Sean does. Yeah. Like really, and Sean doesn't really actually know what I do, and I none of us know what Steve does. He works for the bank, so no one knows what he does. Wow, Some bank shit. yeah, it's bank shit. That's that's what it says that on his card, on his business card. Stephen, bank shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you guys do. You could be secret agents for all I know. <gasps> you might be. Gasp. Choke. Yeah. Choke. 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 Think. I. I, I thought choke. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 both know what, you both know what I do. I talk and then I do and I don't do anything. I eat. That's about it. Yeah, well, we all, you know, we I don't drink eat. like drink drink, but you know, I drink cherry coke. I do fat, like cherry I do hey, like fappy. cherry coke. I do like cherry coke. I love Mr. Cherry Coke. Yeah. Fap, fap. He's fapping. Fapping in a way. Fap's the worst. <laughs> you use fap all the time in these comics. What else before anyone started using it for, you know? Yeah, it's like people in music for that yet. <laughs> then there's this guy. There's the pin king. You could may as well put like <laughs> under his name, guy that Daredevil's gonna kick the living crap out of. Like the his village. Oh, Lar name. Lars or Lark or what was this guy's Lar name? Something I forgot already. Yeah. Lels with an L, yeah. Well mm -hmm. L guy, whatever the L hell he guy. Is. It's it's like so, Lars or what was the guy's name? This whole thing is just boring. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. I thought it was a crashing bore. I don't think it's a good comment. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call it episode right now, one. folks. Yes, episode one. So that's coming up. I, I, I'm wondering if this Lars guy was the guy in episode one. I'm wondering if they how detailed it for was what? for for uh, um, the Netflix season episode one. I mean, for, to, for what, what are you doing now? Like, if he was the guy with the human trafficking, like at the docks, I was, it was Turk. Oh, it was Turk. You're right. They changed so, it. Yeah. So Actually, you know what? Know. I don't think Turk would be that, or would he be Turk, that? He just took crappy jobs no matter what. Remember, he kicked his ass. He kicked Turk's yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they get, they didn't go to the detail to steal it. This, this guy, but yeah. Shooter. Yeah, shooter. yeah. So it was, it was Turk at the docks in the show. Shooter. Forgot. All right, buddy. So yeah, it was, but yeah, it was, yes, they had, and it was, he got him out of there relatively quickly. This storyline is not they didn't do anything with this storyline with this girl. Um, of course, but uh this was the only storyline when he finally got into the, the nitty-gritty of it about him um 
you know, finding about the girl, you know, the girl and him going after the girl that was at all interesting to me. In other words, I thought, okay, that was, you know, that he ends up hearing about her and that got him going after these bad guys and stuff. But I was still just like, I mean, look, dude, it's issue number four. There's only five issues, and you have F all to do about Daredevil in this thing. Yeah. Mm. I kind of like, call me old-fashioned, but buy a Daredevil comic book. Again, I know this is revolutionary. I kind of want to have a Daredevil story in it somewhere, maybe. Origins are fine, but we got to stretch them out to, to freaking, I don't know, four issues now. Five, really. I guess I'm just being silly. I'm sorry. No, I don't. I, I, I like the one page. I like the one page Marvel Origins where it was like, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like six panels. Like, okay, all this shit happened. All right. And then we move on. Well, even issue number one, they do, they touch on the origin and all that stuff. Yeah. But they give you good, you know, it's still, he's in the, it's, it was a different time though, but he's in the costume and he's Daredevil. And they do the origin, but still make it exciting because they start out with him as Daredevil, like kicking the bad guy's asses and stuff. I've been listening to um, Sean's been listening for a while, but I've gone back and started with episode one of the Superman radio show. It's there's actually um, they're all on one. If you go, if you search on, I don't know where you guys listen to your podcast. If you listen to it. So if you go on, so yeah, if you go on, so just go on your iPhone or whatever you have and go on, you know, I don't know what it is like podcast app or whatever, and just check Superman. They have got the whole thing. Um, But the origin, is I, I mean, it's bonkers. You're you're just like, what the hell? This is like not even anywhere he, near anything. The the, uh, the ship lands and he walks out as Superman, and it's done. Yep, it's done. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> and then and then it's just that's like, oh, I'll call dead. myself Kent because of this guy. Yeah, that's and it's it. Not Clark Kent for some reason. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yep, crazy. it was <laughs> very yeah. weird. I mean, it's literally like one minute of airtime. <laughs> like it's like I saved this guy. What's your name? My name is Kent. Yeah. Oh, I'll call myself Kent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but if you listen to the rest of the show without listening to that, you'd be like, "Oh, well, I guess they did the origin like normal, right?" It's like yeah. no, because it's just they just want to get on with it and have Superman just do stuff. Get know? on with. They could have just summed it up. Said, "Hey, this is what happened." Now let's move on. But yeah, it was. Well, you know, in the original comics, they barely touch on the origin until later. Right. That much, you know, Batman didn't have an origin until a number of issues later. He, I'm when he started out, if, um, that's why it's like that in, in the Mego series because that series is like 30s or something. No, it started well, out. that series was like, was it 40, 41 or something? Like, not too long after Superman when it disappeared. Started? Well, yeah. Superman just appeared in 38, so it was that series had to be that radio show had to be in not but like any much more than a year or two or whatever, yeah, after he first appeared, right. You know, and I don't think the, maybe the origin wasn't set. Maybe the origin at that wasn't point. there. So. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't set it doesn't Dumb say Car- the podcast doesn't show. Like the podcast shows 2019, but that's when it was uploaded, right? Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't give that doesn't give the information. There's some stuff out there. For, you know, it used to have a book. Well, still have maybe have it somewhere uh, that they came out with in the 70s called Superman Serial to Serial. It was spelled with an it's S. A, to, February S-C. 1940. Was the first? Okay, so that's uh, that's not even two years after. No, yeah. So maybe there was no origin yet. Well, I think there's an origin in. Um, there's a very vague one in Action One, isn't there? Or is it no. Superman One? Oh, okay. yeah, land, 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 like Krypton. The whole explodes and all that. Okay, it comes but they don't out. Tell yeah. you much. In fact, the Kents though aren't in that. No. In the first one, I don't think. If I remember I don't think right. So. I could be wrong. There's yeah. only. It's very minimal, but you can exp- – well, I mean, once it becomes public domain, you can expand on it and change it up to what you want, I guess. You're allowed to use – I think you're allowed to use Clark Kent. You're allowed to use Krypton. You're allowed to use uh, – I think it's Lois in that first one. No, uh, I don't think Lois – maybe not. I think she might be in, in the, the first or maybe not the first. It'll only be action one. Um, but anyway, let's – okay, so Daredevil – Let's get back to this. Uh, we're almost on this issue. So he jumps, kicks the door the f- in. The first one, there's no cans. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. I'm refreshing, refreshing my memory. It sucks. There's no cans. I don't think there's any Lois. A lot of stuff. It just starts out like one page talking about mm-hmm. he got sent to the planet and they show him as a baby at 
at an orphanage or some kind of crap or whatever, and then him flying. Yeah, so it's pretty quick. Um, yeah. I'd have to, now, I had to do more research to find exactly when the origin starts. Fanti would tell us if he was here, probably. Yeah. I'll say this yeah. and we move on. Like, the, that, that, um, I remember we got the DVDs for uh, the George Reeves series. And when we first got them, I remember I was at your place, J Man. We watched the first episode and we were stunned because the first episode is Superman the movie in 22 minutes. Right. It's, you really get a sense that the Superman the movie is really based on the memory and, and fondness of the TV show. Um, yep. And yeah, they just yeah. expanded the crap out of yeah. it. Yeah, it's the and same now, exact thing, beat for beat, but it's like just a half is. hour version of it. Yeah, and he's and I'm though. okay with the longest version of Superman one. Like I can watch that three hour version or whatever. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I love that first episode too, though, because it uh it has some uh, just it ends with him going to the Daily Planet. And he saves Dabs Greer from a hanging rope from a what a dirigible or whatever. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm Superman has a neat, he, you can do neat stuff with the origin. I don't like when an origin is not neat and then you have to drag the crap out of it. Like, it depends. It just depends on each character. I hate when they go too too much into an older origins, fiddle with it. All right. Yeah. Like this. This is <laughs> annoying. So All right. Anyway, so he goes this, to the garbage. Yeah. See, this story, if they maybe had done this in one of the earlier issues and cut out a lot of the, crap it might have been it was okay him and the little girl you know their friendship and him you know catching on to this this trafficking thingy but th then you get into this with these two these people look at that head you talk about that other that other head that was bad that's terrible too all these other people with their little crap of oh, was it the there you go <laughs> the ransoming and this other thing, like, i don't i don't know well, this is somewhat like he is fighting villains here, so this is kind of neat. He's jumping around. He's, yeah, in this, there you go. Even though he's not daredeviling yet, he is daredevil because they call him daredevil. Um, you know, yeah, he's he's dealing with a baddie. Fine. We have to wait to issue four, but fine. In fact, we have to wait to five too, right? Really, it's five. Really, is the well. Here's the first. Now the black, the black. Now he's finally got the uh, black thingy. Which, by the way, he had a black outfit and that stupid uh, trial of the Incredible Hulk. I know, and everyone thought that was garbage. And then people really liked the black costume. And, and I remember arguing with people um, about the season one Netflix, and I and I was like, well, you know, the black costume is cool. I thought he'd have it for two or three episodes, and then we'd have the red. Um, but yeah. it's like, it's like the red was like, I think it was like episode six or seven. I was like, I don't think we're getting the red costume because I feel like we would have had it by now. Yeah. And then as soon as they got to um, Gladiator, which I, uh, Melvin, and they're like, I was like, oh, I guess Melvin's going to make it. I'm like, well, when is he going to make this thing? And then it was like literally <laughs> the last, you know, I'm a big costume guy. Like, Same. Be, like, if you don't, like, if you don't have the costume, you're not really the guy, right? Like, that's the whole thing. <clears throat> um, so it's like, yeah, um, if you don't have the costume, oh, gosh, hold on. Anyway, no, I, so I, I was like, when is I, this I, happening? I love that show, but that's the thing that really pissed me off the most about the first season. I had to wait the 13 episodes to get the cut. You have 25 so I was willing to wait a little while, but not. not. That's I think really I, all of us, J Man, would you say you have the most confidence? No, 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 no. I have hope, uh, not oh, confidence. Okay. Yeah, um, I, have, I have no I have, confidence. I, have yeah. no I, confidence. I, I don't have. I don't have very. I don't. Have, I have zero. I have zero. Okay, I'll put. Oh, let me. Oh, I'll put. Yes, I do have the most confidence because I have zero confidence. Right. Oh. Um, you got. I, but from Disney, for Marvel and Disney, I have negative. Con like, I'm sure yes. it's going to suck. Oh yeah, James. So like, James Gunn is zero so. confidence. Yeah. 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 yeah like Fantastic Four stock. Uh, and that's the whole yes. thing. Like, no one is. No one says it's, 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 I was yeah. there for, for issue one, and I don't care about Thunderbolts. No, I don't care about it either. Yep. So yeah. I have negative confidence in Marvel and Disney and Star Wars. I have zero confidence in James Gunn, but I have about, I have maybe about 30% hope that maybe it'll work out. So that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at. You have more than me. I'm open. I have no confidence, but I'm open to be. Surprise. Okay, so you're he has open. never shown me any anything that suggests to me he can make a Superman movie. Agreed. So, so I feel like 
if I say, well, you know what? Maybe I'll wait. I, I'm going to feel like a big fool who gets fooled more than once, more than twice, and always gets fooled again. So I don't know, man. So just stick with zero. I'm good with zero. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, but hope yeah, is there. Know. You can hope. Like, there's no hope for Dis. Like, I have negative. Oh, no, I have zero hope. There's no one like, there that's yeah, talented. No hope. Right, there, I have zero hope. Because James Gunn still made movies I liked. He yeah. hasn't just done anything to show he could do Superman. Sorry, but he man. made movies I like. We'll that's okay, I like it. No, no, no. But this is good to get this all out in the open. Yeah. So, a fi- so I have zero confidence, but I have 30% hope. Because James Gunn has still made movies I've liked. So yeah. maybe he can make a movie I like with Superman. But I have zero percent hope, a zero percent confidence. I'm with you. Marvel, I have negative confidence <laughs> and zero hope. That, that's no where there. I am. Same. We're on the yeah, same page zero. and all that. Yeah, there's there, there, it, it they need to prove to me. Like even this X-Men cartoon, I really liked episode three because Goblin Queen was badass. But you're nervous. There's like 10 but, episodes. <laughs> right, there's a lot of time. I thought uh, it was eight, but yeah. Yeah, guys, there's still time. Like oh God, I, yeah. I said, I was like, don't start ordering the comic. Like, don't don't get hyped. I said this even in my room. I was like, don't start getting all pumped up. Or oh, X Men, relax. Yeah, I, I I saw your review of the co- the comic was boring to me. It was boring. Yeah. It's a bit boring. Yeah, it's I still it's okay. Something. It's, it's like, double boring. length. Yeah, the look, it's okay. Like it's okay. It's still a bit it's boring. Tired. Yeah, the, the the pacing was. I gave I ding the pacing because it's like nothing's happening. Let's see where it goes. I liked episode three of the cartoon for sure. Goblin Queen was badass. I, I think I gave it like an eight or an eight and a half. I was like, I like the second card, the third episode. That was cool. But we'll see. It could still suck. It could suck very quickly. It just takes one bad episode. And they've got it in them. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So this girl's in trouble. Daredevil comes to the rescue. There's that Lars guy or whatever he was. It's basically Warlock. It's the friggin' Warlock. It's Julian Sands. Hey, did yeah. they ever find Julian yeah. Sands? Yeah, he passed. Oh, he, he was... Pa- oh, man, I forgot. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, that sucks. He was awesome. Yeah. Um, all right, so these guys are at the docks here. Here comes... Psh, here comes uh, uh, Daredevil. He punches man these guys fear. in. Man without fear. He said, here comes Daredevil. They always put that on the cover. But here comes Daredevil. Man without fear. Right. Uh, this is Hubba Bubba. Because you, <laughs> yeah. you can get a big, uh, big one with that. Right. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna Billy Chu man myself. So <laughs> you got Hubba Bubba? No. It's oh, Chu's. I like Chu's. Oh, yeah. I remember. Oh, yes, I like those. Do you I have those? In, have you? Do you have those in? Yeah, in it's America. America. Yeah, it looks familiar. Okay. Yeah, yeah those are good. Yeah, she just kids are gonna do uh, chewing tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought it was so cool, and I would get the Popeye cigarettes, and I thought I was so cool with the Popeye we cigarettes. We still have them, yeah. we just call them sticks. Sticks, yeah, yeah but they're yeah. cigarettes. Yeah, we know what <laughs> they really are. Pop, <laughs> he popped that guy, and then he conked the other one. Conk, conk. pop, conk. You, oh, that was him popping his, his gum, popping and locking. Run. Oh, yeah. He's running. And there you go. Oh, yeah. Now this we is... have the final Yay, issue five, all the same. Like this doesn't happen either. So two no, falsehoods. Happen. Yeah, because no, no. at the end I was like, well, wouldn't he be in the yellow and in red? No, <laughs> they barely show it. I mean, they're like, but uh, it was released on December twenty eighth, nineteen ninety three, and it was uh, Creepy. same all the same suspects. Right. I guess I say it one more time for to be clear: John Rita yeah. Jr. and Al Williamson on the cover. The uh, writing by Franklin Miller. The penciling by John Romita Jr. The inking by the great Al Williamson, colorist Christy Shield, letterer Joe Rosen, and editors Ralph Macchio and Pat Garay. I don't remember him. So there you go. There it is, the big areas with the white sneakers. That's awful cover. Awful page. I don't like these sneakers. Like, just make it black. He looks like a. So he runs, knocks. Job, actually, the black costume in the show is better than this one. It I is. Think. Yeah. He's dare. He's dare jogger. <laughs> I jog anywhere. I I yeah. dare to jog anywhere. I can jog. I can go anywhere yeah, I want. You want with those shoes, dude? Creek. What? Jumping in the water, punching guys in the water, swimming so in the water. He kills a dude here. No. I mean, I, I think don't we know. killed him. You kill, I, I kills mean, the one guy. He says, "Oh, um, his heart is is stopping or something." And then screw him. He's dead, basically. His heart died. Oh, his yeah, heart died. 
he killed yeah, him. Yeah, he no, kills no, a guy. Yep. Well, he jumped. They jumped in, and they. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. He sure. didn't try to you know, pull him out. He didn't try to save him. Comic is trying to be more um, yeah, gritty and to... stuff than it really needs to be. Agreed. So, anyway, <laughs> he punched the snake. That happens in Hard Target, Clobby. <laughs> He, he get, gets a snake and then he punches uh, it and knocks it out. He doesn't kill it. He knocks it out because he uses it in a trap later. This is the yep. movie that you refuse yep. to watch. Yep. You're I missing out. I think I might have seen you know, that, was, that was filmed down here, by the way, where, my, where I live. Oh. oh. In fact, or not filmed, but I think it takes place in outside of New Orleans. Like, it's yes, it does. Yeah. But yes, a, but in fact, I remember seeing part of it because someone talked about this. There's a shot where they're riding next to, by a mountain or something, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. Um, guess what? There are none of where they say this movie takes place. Oh, there's no mountains there, no. So, I don't know where they actually filmed that. I don't remember if there's a, I don't remember if there's a mountain, but there's parts in the movie where there are different locations because they're doing this, this game. He's from a place called Chalmet, which is outside New Orleans. Oh, ah, okay. It's one of those, it's a hunter game thing, so it's like they're hunting, yeah, they're hunting yeah. people and they, and they go to different locations. So, maybe the mountain thing was they were in a different but there location. Are no, mountains here. no, right. But I'm saying the mountain shot may have been where it's a different location where they're hunting guys, and then they moved because they they moved their hunting game to different places. So then they go to your 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 place and fight or whatever. See the account. Yeah, uh, gotcha. By explosive grenade. John Romero Senior. Spirits and Romero Junior. Because to me, my favorite Spider Man. John Romero Junior. It was too blocky. Yes. I mean, sometimes I like Junior's. Uh, he ain't no senior. See, the Academy is not. Oh, I, I, of course, classic. I'm 100% with you. It's a disgrace. Well, the Oscars are a disgrace. We all agree with that. Whether we whether we agree that Hard Target should win, that's debatable. But we all agree that the Oscars in general are garbage. Oh, yeah, a disgrace. Yeah. yeah it's Indeed, a disgrace, it. Indeed it. Um, he steals this guy's purse. I don't know what's going on here. Like, Yanks a pin. pin. Jumps oh, up. Oh, wow. Yanks, Yanks a pin. pin. Yeah, they killed him there, too, if they weren't dead before. But that's okay because he was there. That guy's heart already it stops, so it's fine. But what about the other one? Um, that guy's heart was about to stop, so yeah. that's why it was Fair okay. That's it's about bad. <laughs> it all makes sense. It's an attack. <laughs> hey, your shoes changed color. Cool. They're black. <laughs> They're more black now. Yeah. Well, I guess. He so anyway, these, these guys just fall down. And he jumps on them. Starts beating the shit out of him. At least this is cool. I don't like them. Yep, it is based on that. I like all those. The Academy is just nuts. Yep. Enemy of the state. Uh, is that a real I comic? I, I, think I, I, that. I think that's the Mark Miller, uh, Romita Jr. Uh, Daredevil comic. I think I read that way back. Is that so the one you're talking about, R? I think so. Mark Miller. So he jumps out. Not Frank. So yeah, Braca, 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 Doing the YMCA. Braca, 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 Braca. Jumps around. I've got the old girl. Let's go. Let's get in the car. Start the car. Start the car. Start the car. He's running after it. Yeah. All right. Here comes the boys in blue. Nah, 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 nah. They got they get him, they yeah. cuff him, throw him in the back seat. Meanwhile, this guy's got the girl. So my, so my identity has been given yeah. away. Maybe yeah. don't see my fucking name. Like <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna beat these uh, cops. Car 57, the, where are you? <laughs> there. Now I know where she is, and now I'll get out of this thing. Kick these guys in the face, and then th th wow. this car crashes, and they both die. So he killed Probably. two cops. Um, Certainly already up. stopped, though. That's the only problem. Now this dude just wastes this guy, and she actually notes it. Yeah, this all of this, like this fighting here, like is all Netflix. Like I mean, yeah. this this entire thing, like the way it's, it's very done, intense like, on the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like Marvel is the author. That's yeah. that's what the court ruled years ago. So yeah, yeah. some guy named some guy yeah. named Marvel. That guy got around. He wrote a lot of wrote and drew a lot of things, didn't he? Yeah. Well, that's the whole um, Kirby um, court case that they ruled that Marvel was the author. So, yep. 
you know, ridiculous. That's anyway, disgusting. Yeah. So yeah, wasted this so dude. The and These two guys are dead. He says, "Whoa, man, who is this guy?" He's Steals driving. the car. They, he, just like he was driving blind and uh, there and born again. Yeah. It, you just killed that guy. That guy like it was nothing. It was nothing. I'm that good. Crash. Grab her, grab her by the hair, run. I mean, she's like a toddler right there. He can't, there's no, it's just, composition's lousy. Batman, you're one using the cop car? Oh, yeah, there you go. Using the cop car. Yep, and he did, yeah, he did it in that. He did it in a uh, year, in year, I mean, in Born Again, he used, the, he drove a taxi. Right, yes, that's right, he drove the taxi. One, he drove a cop car, Batman did, to get back to Wayne no. Manor. And this one, he's driving a cop car. He likes. It's a cop car versus a taxi, this one. It's like friggin' duel or whatever. You know, it was a great movie, Wheels of Terror. That was a, a school bus versus yeah. the killer's car. That was awesome. I, wow. I like uh what about the that car's a good the... movie, is good too. Yeah. Oh yeah. The duel's great. But what about that movie about the tire? Oh, I we went rubber. rubber. Yeah. I really wanted to I, you know, I never got a chance to see it. I uh, Oh no. No. It's a weird it? but yeah. You saw it now? I saw I it. Haven't seen it. So I, ha I have it. It's no, um and it has teleconnect not... power, so it can it could blow up people's heads too. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. It's the whole it, thing. Does it uh get did it get snub snubbed by the Oscars? It got snubbed by the Oscars, oh yeah. So I, I was writing a trilogy called Shopping Cart of Death. And uh it's like this uh it's like this Ooh, metal, like this it. alien metal, and this alien metal forms uh when you form the alien metal and when you forge it into a tool it becomes better as the tool. So if you made it into a hammer, for example, it could start hammering by itself. Like you teach it how to hammer and then it starts to hammer by itself. So this alien ship is transporting this metal and, and it, they get hit by these criminals and some of the metal falls to earth and it sees a shopping cart and it forges itself into a shopping cart and this homeless man gets the shopping cart and the homeless man is being treated like crap and talks about how humans are garbage and hate and he hates people. And the shopping cart starts to think that people are bad. So the shopping cart becomes a killer <laughs> and it's, and it's killing. I've got, this is my idea. So it kills people. The shopping cart kills people and the homeless man's getting blamed for it. And he's not killing anything. It's the shopping cart that's doing it. <laughs> I love um, it. And then, and then, and then the sequel was called bride of shop. I did the Frankenstein uh, note naming. So it would, it, right. <laughs> um. So it would have been house. Right. So so it would have been um so it would have been the, the shopping cart of death, and it would have been bride of shopping cart and then son of shopping shopping cart. But at the shopping. end of but at the end of shopping cart of death, this other guy, this bounty hunter, lands on earth and he wears all black leather and sunglasses, except he has pink gloves, like super bright, like bright fuchsia, like or not fuchsia, like bright neon pink gloves. He has neon pink boots and he has a neon pink belt. And on his planet, anything that's neon pink gives you superpowers. So he looks like a complete idiot because he's got these pink things, but it makes his kick super strong and it makes his punches super strong and the waist makes him invulnerable. So he's trying to find uh, th this metal that's turned into a shopping cart um, and killing people. So this is my idea for a trilogy of films. Uh, it is yet to be produced. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm there. Uh, it, it, listen, I'm it's pretty awesome. Day. I also have another trilogy about uh, body parts that go off on their own and do stuff. That's another trilogy. Wow. I'll tell you about that in the next stream. <laughs> there, there, there you go. Um, but uh, I, and not too many people know about Shopping Cart of Death. I've really kept that one close because I really believe in that concept a lot. I think it's hilarious. Um, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you giving me the, uh, nice. the, the thumbs up on that one? Mm. Yes. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't I haven't read many Terry Pratchett Pratchett yeah I don't know that'd be awesome if it did but I came up with this idea like in like high school or something. <laughs> um, okay, okay, I didn't want to kill her. Just let her go. It's like uh, you don't want. Well, okay. I mean, this guy knows your identity, so he he he, he pachings the bullet. It's like shoots again, ping, and it goes right through his face. So he killed another guy. <laughs> 
Yeah, his but pretty high here, this, right? this guy's heart was about to stop because he had been taking a lot of drugs previously. So Daredevil knew that. So that's why it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, literally, literally. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, Daredevil's a mass murder. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys He's know a this. A serial killer is more than three. Is three deaths or more? So that's okay. he's satisfied. Right. Yes, he he's a serial killer. No. Yes, there are serial killers though. Then there are spree killers because I remember that's an correct. episode. Millennium, where Frank Black explained that to a guy once, and he was talking yes. about the serial. It gave him uh, the guy gave him a present that Silent Night, Dead Night, or whatever says nothing yeah. will make you Christmas like a serial killing Santa. He goes, actually, he names the reason why he's actually a spree killer. Right. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah yes. I, I used to watch Criminal Minds all the time. The the old Criminal Minds, not the new one that they re brought back, and it was terrible. But the original Criminal Minds, and yeah, the spree killer. That's different. Yeah. Yeah, but there you go. So Lars or whatever the guy's name. What the hell is this guy's name? Yeah. Really? Laura, blah, 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 something Lel something. He was I don't have my note. I didn't bring I'll my note. I'll tell you. Hang on. I'll tell you. I'll give, I'll give you one second. I have it. Roll oh, yeah. All right. This guy is uh Larks. Larks. Okay. Larks. Larks. Okay. There and you go. He, he will doubtless to be seen ever again. Let me say make sure. Why does he worry me so? Two because he's daredevil. That's it. Yeah, that's it. He's not hey. one man. He's Daredevil. He's Daredevil. Paul, is it, is it okay for a superhero? Sorry, it's a habit. Go ahead. Go ahead, read it. Let me read it. Uh, is it okay for a superhero to kill to prevent the death of an innocent? I mean, when an innocent is being directly threatened and I mean, with death, and there's no way to stop the villain via non lethal means, hmm, is it okay? Technically speaking, superheroes aren't cops. They don't have, you know, they're not authorized. They may eventually be vindicated in it. Um, so, but just as I guess, they're normal citizens, although they are like interfering in law. So, is it okay if you're asking if it's morally justified? I mean, uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I know all I know is Jim Gordon said it best: the Batman does not kill. Usually they don't kill because they're not they're they're already out acting outside of the law. So and Superman's made his own rule: I don't kill the real Superman. So. My, you know what? My my theory on this is a bit of a weird theory. My theory on this is that the writer should not allow the hero to kill because I feel that it's a lazy form of writing, unless yes. that's what the story is. So, for example, I, again, I read Lone Wolf and Cub. I'm reading this Fist of the North Star. This the North Star is established that this guy is going to kill the bad people in the world, and that's what he does. He's not a hero. I would not. He's a prota He's the protagonist of the story. That it does. It's like Snake Plissken is the protagonist, but he will shoot people if he needs to shoot people. But if you're saying it's a superhero, like let's say a Batman or or Superman or something, then the writing should be that the hero is smart enough to always figure out a way to take the opponent down without killing them because that's what makes them a superhero. So to write it in such a situation that you're suggesting to say there's no way out of it, that's lazy writing because the point of writing a superhero comic is that you're supposed to make it so that they find a way out. So to me, it's not really, does is it the superhero's fault? Because the superhero is just a, it's someone writing it. So the writer needs to come up with a clever way to have the hero not kill because that is the point of heroic comics. It's not the point of Fist of the North Star. This is this guy is like, F these guys, I'm going to kill them all. But if you're doing Superman, then the point of Superman is that he doesn't kill. So writing that he can't do it, or he's in such a way that he can't, it's like, yeah, but you need to, fit, if you want to write it, so it's like, oh no. The point of it is, is how is Superman going to stop this guy without killing him? Because killing is the easiest thing for Superman to do. He can literally fly around. Oh, look, bank robbery, laser, dead, yep. fly around. Oh, look mugger rapist dead like what is the, then what am i reading the, the, yeah. like what why am i even reading i'm reading a superman comic to see how superman deals with criminals without killing them that's why I'm, this is i'm reading it to see how is he going to kill these asshole criminals that's why i'm reading this comic <laughs> if i'm reading a superman comic then i'm reading how superman's going to not kill the people that's the damn point of it totally agree 
I could do without because again, you know, and here's another thing: the superhero fiction mm -hmm. is a certain genre. Now, originally when it first came out, those characters were some were doing some things like default characters that were killing Batman, running around with a gun for a while. Superman would throw something, would throw people around, and hell, right. the Captain Marvel serial, he threw throw the oh, dial, the rope, he mowed guys down with a machine gun. Eventually, at some point, <laughs> I think it as time and it evolved, they decided these are aimed at younger readers. Plus, the whole point of these are these are parables for the responsible use of power. Right. And to show that they use their powers to help people, to rescue people. And when they help bust crime for cops, they're not cops. So they don't have the right to just, they're not judge, jury, and executioner. That's what characters like the Punisher is for. I don't even like the Punisher, but mm -hmm. he's in the superhero universe. He's way outside the law, and that's it. The others aren't. Spider-Man doesn't kill. They try not to kill. If they accidentally do it in a fight, it's a little bit different. But they don't, they don't think they have the right to kill because no one, I mean, cops don't have the right to just kill. To decide to kill somebody so why should a superhero who and usually also it's written it should be written as such as they have superpowers for a reason they should hold themselves to an even higher standard that are normally that are non-powered human so um yes mm -hmm. i don't believe superheroes should kill um, but, you know, with, my, but with, james bond and paladin and i mean everybody else all the normal non-superpowered heroes absolutely kill when they have to yeah, and I, only I, when they have to. Yeah, right. Oh, I, 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 again, to me, it's a bit like I, everything is a genre. Like I, I, I love yeah. horror movies. I love slasher movies, which means that there's the killer is going to kill a bunch of people. So I'm cool with that because that's what it is. But I'm everything's a genre to me. I, I like a lot of genres because if I see a kaiju yeah. movie, I want to see kaiju battles. That is why I'm sitting here watching this movie. I, that's what I want to see. It, it's not like, what was that, Cloverfield? Was that Cloverfield? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. That was the worst movie of all time. It, it, it's like, it's a kaiju movie, and then you're like, well, nothing's happening. They're just running away from the monster the whole time. Yeah, but it's realistic. I know, but I'm not watching a realistic kaiju movie because yeah, I, I don't, don't care about that. Yeah, like, if I watch a realistic action movie, right. James Bond's going to need to sleep and piss and eat and take a shower, and if he punches someone, his hand's going to hurt. Like, I don't get it. Like... What, yeah, what, what realism fascination with realism when it comes to fantasy concepts? Always, but. yeah. So, in self defense law says yes, except what, yeah, yeah, you used to be a lawyer. I mean, morally speaking, not legally. I mean, if you kill someone in self defense, you kill someone in self defense. That's it's it's if it's you or them, what are you gonna in do? Real life, yeah, yeah, in real life, what are you gonna do? That's it. Yeah. You try the the game, what is it? And try for game Marvel Rivals. Basically, I have no, I have no idea about video games, man. Like. Unless it's Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, that's the only games I know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much either. Uh, like, yeah, I like Joust. I bet you I could beat anybody here in Joust. I love Joust. I'm pretty good. I, I I'm pretty I'm pretty damn I good. I would, I would lose. <laughs> we should team up and play play Joust. I would lose. I can't. I can't. I can't play. I can't. Play, I need a game that. So I hate to say this. But I need a game that requires skill because I need to see progression in my skill. I need to be like, wow, I couldn't pass the fourth screen. Now I can pass the fifth screen. Now I can pass the sixth screen. Playing out a movie. I watched some of these. Um, like I really like that Alien Isolation, where you're the alien. It's like uh, takes place in the Alien Part One, and it's Sigourney's uh, or Ellen's daughter. I was like, oh, this is so cool. But you're playing it. It is awesome. It's beautifully done. It's a you know great atmosphere, and there's some good scares. But you're just playing out a movie. I saw a guy. It's like seven hours long on YouTube. He played the whole game. Like I'll just watch this guy play, and it'll be like watching a seven hour movie, and then you're done. I need the game to be the game where I have to beat something or whatever. Yeah. That's just my opinion. That's my old man opinion on games. <laughs> um, all right, so they're 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 flipping a coin to decide what to name their uh, firm, and yes. then their stick there. And he says, "Oh, it came up, uh, it came up, you know, tail. So you lost, buddy." And then they name Coming it. Coming second, uh, yep. Nelson, Nelson Murdoch. And then there's their of a running around, except he's this character. Oh no, no, there it is. Starts he out changed. with the yellow, and then yeah, yeah. And then he says, "I don't even know what it looks like." Of course, I hope, I hope it. Uh, who knows what it looks like? Yeah. So, yeah. There you wow. go. I just uh, don't didn't do it for me. I don't know about you guys. I mean, it's just I mean, don't don't super super care for the art. I mean, um, no. This is is this the one? No, was this the one we're talking about? No. That's Electra Assassin. Yeah. Uh, Bill Kisinkevich with that weird style he developed the painting style. I mean, it's a lot of people like it. I just could never could get into this. 
Oh, you know what? I, I'm sorry. I was thinking of something different. I don't like this at all. This was the <laughs> electric, the first mini series that we brought her back. I guess. Is this what we were talking about earlier? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm sorry, R. Man, I don't like this at all. I have this on digital as well. I do not like this. Um, that's not the one I was thinking about. I was thinking about. Um, this was the one where he brought her back. Oh my God! There was something called Electra Saga that was basically reprints of a. No, no, no. Of his other one. I mean, they've done other series. Obviously, there's a million of them now. Electra. Uh, I think. A lot of people really like this. I mean, they just didn't really care much for the art personally. But uh, Electra lives would... again. Oh, that's different. Yeah. You figured we would hate it. I'm sorry. This, sorry, buddy. I mean, yes, I like did it. not like this at all. Um, yeah. And I'm not. No, I like. I need to reread the story again, perhaps, but I just don't like the art much, buddy. Maybe the story is better than I remember it. I'm sorry. I I was talking. I was thinking about this one. It lives again. Yeah, that's just. Uh, if I remember right, that's a, that was um, done later. This is the one where I was like. I don't know. I kind of think it's it's kind of neat, but I'm not. I, you know, I'm not sure. Like, you know, it's like I it's kind of. I think I didn't buy this. I think I actually this was. I think maybe I bought it. Didn't. I don't know what year was that. Now, yeah, jeez. Oh, what do you guys think of this one? I didn't really care for this one that much. I thought it was just. I mean, what about? I mean, art wise though. I don't like the art. That was one of the things that, that kind of turned me off on it. See, this is the one that I was talking about where I'm kind of, I kind of like it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's giving me a weird feel. Yeah. It's before she died. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Before she, if died. I remember right, I think I bought it and read some of it and just didn't keep, keep stay with it. Yeah. See this, I don't know. There's something about this. It feels a little bit like heavy metal. Yeah, it's yeah. I, actually I'm gonna refresh my memory a little bit on it. Um, I see this looks cool to me, like it's kind of neat. Okay, it first came out in 1990. Um, Miller did the, did all the the writing, penciling, and inking on it with Len Vara doing the coloring, and uh, it was oh, I think it was like a one issue thingy or something, wasn't it? Or maybe it was like, I mean, it was a, I don't know how many issues. If it was like a trade or a regular or a one shot. I'm so vague on this thing now because I remember. I might read this. What now? I might read this one. It's kind of neat to me. I don't know why. I actually, what's the, uh, <clears throat> where's Electra's normal? Why is this? What? Electra volume. Where's the, where's the '90s one here? What? Yeah, here you go. This is what I like. Yeah, this is cool. Let me see the. Oh the man, this is cool. Page. Let me see the credits yeah. page on that. I don't know, but this looks like a J Man comic right here. What's the? Uh, where's the? Uh, there you go. A little, little more. Yeah, that's Peter Milligan art. I mean, the story Mike Diodato art. I'm not big on Diodato, but it's okay. A lot of people like his art. And I never read this because it was just modern. Time. Yeah, see, yeah, this is this, this, this is this is awesome right here, man. This is good. This is what I like, right? This just makes me feel good inside. It's like, oh yes, this is the good, the good old days of my youth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is nice. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, like where the, it's like this, like literally, like this silhouette of this guy's like super nineties, like oh, it's, yeah. it's great. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. So there, 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 there you go. Mm -hmm. I'll get, I'll get rid of that bar in my face. That's right. Lives again was um, was a hardcover. I thought it was a hardcover. Oh, cover. interesting. Yeah, I had to double check because it's been so long. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, what next week? Are you ready? Is every are you guys mentally prepared for this next week? 
Like Fantastic Four. Oh my God. Yeah, you feel the only thing, the only pro, the only thing is the spelling on the fifth because it's the Friday, not the fourth, which is right. unfortunately it's a Thursday. Other than that, it's crazy, man. It's like the we're it's Fantastic Four. We're doing four issues. It's the fourth month. Yeah, we've only landed on the four, man. If you're into that sort of thing, I guess. <laughs> it's like uh, it, it, it all it all worked out. And then I've got I've got a special, um, a, 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 I've got a special overlay which I will debut, um, nice. which I will debut then. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. That's gonna be really good. You want more? Dare- <laughs> you want more Daredevil? Oh, the uh, Fantastic Four. What what did I say, Shauna? We're only reading comics. Sorry, Fantastic F- Four F- is comics. <laughs> well, FKH, what would you suggest if? I, if uh, Personally, I can't think of any other Daredevil I give a crap about other than older Daredevil than Miller. I mean, maybe you like some. I don't know. But I don't really like anything after Miller other than Miller. Goodbye, Joe Duff. April 4th oh. is a Friday 2025. Oh, I can't. I, we can't wait till then. You know, there was, was a short run in the 90s, though, by Carl Kessel and Carrie Nord on Daredevil that I kind of enjoyed. It didn't last long enough, though. Because Daredevil um, went back to being a little bit lighter hearted. Oh, yeah. I like the first few. It's okay. Um, I'm just too pumped for Fantastic Four at this point. Like, I want to do something yeah. positive, and yeah. I want to do something guaranteed positive, and I also want to shove in the face of Marvel for making these garbage Fantastic Four movies and not yeah. knowing what to do with these characters. It's yes. so easy. You literally just take these comics. You have them. You guys have them. You can easily take these comics and just use them as your, you know, pull, pull a pull a copy paste job. Like you know, you know, like you know, like do a do a Zack Snyder three hundred, just copy paste it, and then you know, and like that's it, right? Like don't inter don't reinterpret it, don't modernize it just for the heck. Yeah. Um, uh, one hundred and one hundred issue one through one hundred two and all six annuals. Yeah. And then you know what you might want to do like uh, that that uh. Lost story, but don't do FF one hundred eight because that's a, that's an insult to Kirby. Right, the lost story. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, I remember. Yeah, we talked about it. Well, well, we'll get to that down the line. Why don't we get ahead of ourselves? Um, Sean, what's going on? Where, where are you at now? Twelve hundred? Are you past? You're past twelve hundred, I think. Yeah, it's a twelve hundred and forty or something like that. Or you'll pass um, no time. So yeah, I, uh, I posted two more videos today. Um, one was a. Uh, Commander review, and the other one was a uh, cartoon commentary. I'm trying that out. Uh, It's a Visionaries uh, episode one. No one cares, but I'm trying my hand at this um, and just talk about like, well, no, it's it's one of these things. Like, if you're of our age, you're gonna love it, right? But, um, but uh, but yeah, I'm just trying my hand with with that kind of thing, and I'll do more DVDs and stuff, and and uh, other things in the coming weeks. Oh, and tomorrow is Space Angel, another two episodes um, at 8 p.m. Awesome. Kalabi, what's going on? Well, in about 10 minutes, i got to get over to uh, Nick, our buddy Nick Weiser's stream. He's just going to do an open stream tonight just to, with the comic shop boys. I may go hang out with them for a little bit. And then uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, Star Trek. We're ending Season five of the greatest show ever made, Star Trek. Boy, good show. Good book. Third, third greatest. No, two, fourth, fourth greatest. Final two episodes. And man, we're so sad to see that season go. We're so sad that we only have two more to go. It's just so good. We have a lot of fun and we love it. And uh, we're doing that. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, if I get after I get home from seeing Kong uh, Sunday night, I'll be uh, on the Sunday night geek with the great Mark D with a C. When's your week in geek? 10 p.m. Eastward, or how late we are, because it's Eastward. So, yeah. And then hanging out with you guys. Oh, by the way, so yep. Monday night, though, Monday night, March Comic Talk at 9 Central, uh, 60th anniversary of this this guy we're talking about tonight. Yes. Daredevil. I'm going to review Daredevil issue number one. Talking about, you know, take the bad taste of mouth from this terrible version of his origin to go to the real one. And then, uh, yeah, just talk about the, the good old uh, the Hornhead in general. Awesome. As I've done cool. many times before. Uh, for FF, we're doing four four, so it's going to be like four, four week. yeah, four week. Uh, tell it's a one oh eight episode, whatever it is, one oh eight divided by four, so that's like what twenty seven streams. 
something like yeah something like that geez that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy um wow of the voyager is shakespeare period and then it's definitely shakespeare compared to discovery um, it's uh compare I'll, I'll leave the period out of there and concede <laughs> All right, <laughs> but uh, I don't. I don't know what Equinox is. Let's see the. It's a two-parter. The the ends on a cliffhanger. It's the episode where they meet another ship that has been stranded in the Delta Quadrant from Federa Federation ship. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. And yes. Jo then Janeway kills everybody. Anyway, I'm sure she made the right decision. And if and don't, if everything ends up. And if everything ends up okay, then obviously it was the right decision because everything ended up okay. Yeah. If it was the wrong decision, it would be done. Okay. Absolutely. I'm totally with you. Yeah, it may it makes sense. It does, it definitely it sure makes does. sense. And it's uh, unarguable. Well, who's arguing, man? I don't argue with you. I agree with you. <laughs> you should you should you should only agree with me. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with that what you just said, too, buddy. <laughs> I agree with that, and I agree with that that you agreed to that I agreed to. And I Did agree you, with what you just said right there, too. Uh, I love mystery men. I love that part. Oh, I know that. And I knew you'd know I know you knew, but I didn't. I only knew that you know that I knew. Did you know that? Uh, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks to the Legionnaires who are the members, man. We appreciate it. It's going to be exciting, man, next week. So Monday is Legion of Superheroes. Um, there, yeah, there it's it's gonna be a stream. So there, there's some weird stories. Uh, but It'll be fun hanging out and talking with them. We're yes, really close sir. to Superboy. Once Superboy starts, they're friggin' all awesome. Yo. So, or at least most of them are awesome. Um, that's it, everybody. I uh, hope to see you guys on Monday. If not, one week from today, Fantastic Four. It's super yeah, buddy. Be for Fantastic Four. So, all right, everybody. Until Glad next time. Buddy. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. You've, You've just, just been listening, listening to J-Man. And, and, and he is the smartest, smartest person, person who ever lived. lived. So, make, so sure make sure you, you like, like and subscribe. subscribe.